and we're live. I had that on repeat. I forgot to take the loop <laughs> off. My bad. Oh, and Tyler's still muted. This is you muted yourself. The hell I did. This is also a wonderful start. Take two. Well, Go ahead, Tyler. Well, this is an all new UK edition of the Fans of Power podcast here. Um, uh, the usual suspects were, well, not all of us are here. One of them's missing an action. May have to go all Chuck Norris and Rhett. I'm still hearing the intro over, over my end. Really? Yeah. That, uh, no. Do you all have right, a I, YouTube I, up? No. Oh. Oh. That's weird. Shit. See what happens when Joe's not here. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I thought it was just going to be smooth sailing, but I guess I fucked yeah, up. Yeah, no, like, it, it, it's it's like I'm hearing the entire thing play over as I'm talking to you guys. Well, just oh, go ahead, weird. just go ahead and bounce and come back in. All right. Yeah, be best intro ever. See, James, you should have done it from the start. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what he's hearing. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, I was, I was watching the intro and I was just like, this is a really wonderful intro. Like, I, how yeah. was who checked? Yo, that's, you did it, Rebecca. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. What, uh, um, what? How did you go about choosing the footage? Um, well, I actually hit up all the guys, but Tyler was the only one that got back to me. So between me and him, we picked our favorite. Yeah, I was watching it, thinking like <laughs> Evil Lynn's plot. This has got Tyler's fingerprints yep. all over it. <laughs> I sent yeah. Joe, yeah. Joe, but Joe never got back to me about any clips that he wanted me to use. Oh. So I was like, okay. Well, me and Tyler will pick the. <laughs> no, I, got... I was just watching it, and I was like, oh. If I... Forget the inclusion of the um, Princess of Power toy commercial, which is often yeah. forgotten these days. But yeah, what, I what, love what, that, that toy commercial. That was awesome. But thank you. Sorry, T Tyler. Do you want to go back to doing your intro? Yeah, you want to take three then? Are we past that? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll bullshit it. You know. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a brand new edition of the Fans of Power podcast. The usual, sex, uh, the usual suspects. Oh, the usual sex pests you know, are here. Uh, <laughs> no, you know, no, uh, no. If we're saying let, the sex pests are here, let, Joe would let, have let to me, be here. Let me that. gather myself here. I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to take four here. Take four here. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a brand new edition of the Fans of Power podcast. I'm Tyler Baker, and with us, as always, is Nasty Nate Kennedy, the First Lady of Power, Rebecca. And uh, the Reverend James E. Talk is here. One of these days, we're going to get you some proper, like, church music to introduce you. Because I'm, like, <laughs> I mean, we need to do that. I, I, I like to not have you be, you know, if you're not going to wear like a preacher outfit, like a mock preacher, like with like the white. No, and white also, like, I just, like, I just kind of, I levitate into shot, like, you know. <laughs> and we can have Deuce and chime in as like the voice of God of, of this. Oh, church he of power. could do that. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. We don't. We don't know. We don't see him. We just hear him tell us how wrong we are. You know. I <laughs> will absolutely edit that, James. If you send me like a full body picture of you like floating, I can yeah. edit okay, that. Okay, yeah, like, I'll do that. Oh, yeah. Next time. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> It was have like like that's, a statue of Blue Shimmer behind something. James and everything. God, it's so good. <laughs> I mean, we can come up with our own like a mythology of the first Church of Power, you know, with like Lou Shimer, <laughs> a statue of him behind James. Oh, from the, you're reading, thinking of the Ghostbusters two painting, aren't you? Of like, yeah. and then He Man in the <laughs> some something along those lines. We're passing a collection plate to, to help take up for uh, James's channel and everything like that. Oh you know? yeah, yeah, that's I like yeah. that. This, this is yeah, this is sounding better all the time. And we we could you know. Set them all all over the world, you know people, go, and then you're you're going around like as like a, a missionary, you know, trying like to encourage a, people to. Or like a preacher, man. I'll be like, you know, um, I, uh, what, who was the guy like? Uh, oh, it was the classic one, Benny Hinn. Do you remember him in the 1990s? He had like he was like the kind of gentleman of the big hair, and he would do the whole preaching sessions on stage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, and he was one who'd be like, heal, and he'd just heal people. They'd just be slapping yep. all their foreheads. Oh, 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 like, oh, the guy with the puppy oh. heel would slap the shit out of people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm healed. It's like, yeah, you healed from like having not a broken jaw. You know, it's, it's um, yeah, the, a, a preacher gig would be pretty You pretty could take like the current Blu ray and just smack the shit out of people. So watch this. Oh, you know? yes. Like, <laughs> Oh my if god! If I don't like them, give them something I I don't like. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say something he man related, <laughs> but I won't because that means I'm being exclusionary. That's not a word. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm offending someone somewhere. So oh, you know, well, no, we're gonna offend somebody we all somewhere. Are. It's just inevitable. Yeah. So. That's what we do these days. We're probably offending somebody, but mentioning religion on this podcast is oh, like god, we're making yeah. up our own religion. And someone's pissed off about it. Yeah. You know? Oh, well. it's all James's oh, well. fault. It's my yeah. fault. It's the reverend's fault. Oh God, I've started to talk to myself like in third person, like I'm Dwayne the Rock. Johnson. But a, a true reverend would do that, though, you know. It's true. You know, yeah. You know, let, yeah. Let us pray. You know. Oh, that's yeah. 
Who need to work that into James' stick? You know, just <laughs> let, let us bow our heads here. Or I should, I should just come to the po- like podcast and just start like, put your hands on the screen. Yeah. Put your hands on the screen. Do you feel the power? <laughs> oh my! See, this is give me the solo layout yeah. for that one. Yeah. Oh, that was I like. Yeah, thanks, for that, mate. Yeah, it's yeah. um, the, the power of grace. The power of grace God compels you. And yeah. Like, there we go. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> See, I got a horror reference. <laughs> I remember Toy Fair Magazine did, did a reference like that in one of their little He-Man spills where it's like the power of Grayskull compels you. It had Orko, like, I think, killing oh, really? somebody and saying that the power uh, of Grayskull compels love you. I used Toy Fair back in the day. In the Me late too. 90s, early oh, 90s, God, like yeah. Twisted Toy Fair Theater. That's what it was from, is when they included He-Man. Uh, I think I can't remember what the story was, but it was like wanting to hunt Orko. Which like, when do you guys shoot yeah, Orko? Yeah, there was, there was another one where, like, um, I think that was the one where spider-man goes to eternia it's called from eternia with death maybe yeah that was the first oh, yeah. spider-man goes there and skeletor's like spider man yeah <laughs> he's like hi skeletor he and just, you know he been, he, and, and prince adam they're the same guy and like you see uh, like skeletor's eyebrows get like Eyebr- yeah. and then he's like <laughs> <"Piff."> <laughs> like what and it just go and just impales prince adam there and just like all right well i got that done and it, yeah it was it's, fun there's so song. many good gags in that so many yeah. good, like but dr doom's death again dog they, um, shit was awesome What's that? Doctor Doom stepping in dog shit. I remember that was something um, that he did in a, like the Mego figure of Doctor Doom stepping in dog. Definitely, shit. Like, yeah. Bah! And there was the, the way they wrote the thing in that. In the you know Ben Grimm yeah. was so funny. There was one ah, where um, ah. just like he was he was always doing so. I think him and the Watcher and the Watcher would like be warning him of stuff, and he's like, oh whatever, you know, I'm trying to watch thing. And there was one I think with Kang the Conqueror, and Kang's turning up threatening him. And the last panel had. Ben Grimm with his foot up, he's watching the telly, but he's got his foot up Kang's ass. And um, and I think Franklin Richards is walking up to him and the cat and Kang the Conqueror is saying, Do not touch me, boy. My body is ablaze with pain. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a good way to end it. But um, I re- I really enjoyed Toy Fair. And and like the massive He-Man Shira gig was every time when it was the magazine, they'd mention He-Man Shira, cut it out, you know, I- 2002. It was all about the, you know. Figure of the year, I think it was like Trap Jaw from the Four yeah. Horsemen collection. Cut it out, cut all that stuff out. It's probably still got the clipping somewhere. I, I still got all my, even when they, they announced the commemorative line. I I remember I bought that. I remember what, what shop I was in and everything. Like, he was coming back to stores. Like, oh my god, yeah. commemorative packaging. Like, it was unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. <God. yeah. laughs> what well, happened? What, what, what happened to you, man? Back in the day, you're all excited and. Shit, and look at you now, Tyler. I, I don't know. There, there, there are things. Yeah. There, there, there's always something to be excited about. Yes. See, that, oh, that, that, yeah. Yes. Yes. That's there's something to look forward to that the T-Man related. It, and look, not not a shitty head sculpt in sight with that box. <laughs> no, no. I mean, it's, awesome. It's, it's Emiliano's artwork as well. Look at, look at that. Look at that, people. Look at it glowing look at, and everything. Yeah, look at look at the glow. That's not that's not a a, a thing at all, is it? No. Oh go. damn! Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's glowing. Yeah, wow. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the power of eTalk. The power of He-Man compels you. That's um, yeah. that's Emiliano's um illustration, and then obviously, like he he'd coloured it in two thousand and five for the BCI sets, but then Doosan came along and did the Doosan color corrections to make it completely cell accurate, just for the box that was. Um, did a really good job, I thought. So I yeah. It came out really. What I love about this, it, it's kind of subtle. They didn't go like rainbowy or anything like that. It's just a kind of nice little. But it, it reminds me of the live action movie, like that last shot. You know, Rodolfo yeah. sort. It, it reminds me a lot of that. What does he? Is it? Does he say by the power of grace? Well, uh, he just says I have the power. I have the powers. All he says, yeah. But That's it's like yeah. it's like you know bursts of energy, like some kind of yeah, yeah, coming out from yeah. the yeah. Oh my god, the the Germans love that movie. When when, when we gotta I went get to the Germans on this podcast is what we got. Oh, the Germans would they'd be like, we should They're tell the one them, that released that, that little movie. booklet, right? Because that's in German. Yeah, yeah. I just this, know I can't. Yeah, like um, this this whole uh, this whole set obviously is German based, and they they did like there's, there's a, speaking of booklets, there's a one inside here, and there's I mean. Uh, I have not opened this yet. I got the two comp sets. I got one over there for Dushan, and I got this one, and I've yet to open it. So are you, are you opening it. that on the on? Are you doing that? Are you opening it now? Yeah, oh, yeah, we'll totally open it. Okay, right. I, I, we've ah. seen it. I think we've seen what's in it, but I've not actually, I've not actually kind of delved into it and seen what's yeah. in it. So I'd be like, ooh, and oh, and oh, I dropped it and broke it. And it's on fire, you know, something like that. But um, yeah, it's uh, it looks pretty impressive from what I've seen. Well, come so, on, yeah. take it out. 
I've taken it out already. <laughs> oh, no. okay, hang on. Here we go. Look, you've got, I've, got, I've got my blade. All right, be, be careful. All right, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty good at this. Like, did you ever used to, like, back in, God, about 10 years ago, it was all about action figure and um, classics unpackaging. And some fans would just be like, oh, here's the toy. And you're like, what are you doing? Like, ruining the packaging. But also, like, pulling like He-Man, you know the way they package the classics figures, like the joints, everything's kind of really compacted. Yeah. Yeah. And they'd be pulling them out and the figure it's would like... be all twisted and the, the wrist would be loose. And you're like, what are you doing? Stop it. The monsters, mm. he's already dead. Um, so yeah. Yeah, James being like, oh, I'll just be really careful. It's when he like <laughs> There's a nice, nice Simpsons reference you threw in there. That was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like, what was that from? Yeah. I better make sure my table's clean. I, I had a McDonald's earlier. <laughs> Oh, what'd you get at McDonald's? Um, what did I get? I got a, fil a filet of fish meal and oh, okay. a um, and a quarter pound of cheese. You wouldn't think oh. I'm trying to be healthy at the moment, would you? Um, you have to be beef at McDonald's here. <laughs> uh, if they if they were doing Popeye's chicken, I'd be all over that shit. <laughs> yeah, we need to we need to get that worked out to where you get some Popeyes over there for you, James. Okay, so it's got so oh, it feels really funny. It's got a really weird texture because it's like. Um, yeah, you can hear. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah it's like, that's nice. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really. I guess it's because of the the moray pattern they use. Oh look at that! It really does kind of. It's so oh, gorgeous. It's bursting. Look at that! Oh, oh wow, that does really look really cool. Yeah, yeah it looks so. Yeah, I. They did a good job with that. Then you look back. I think this is just a. This looks like a, just a. Yeah, it's just almost like stuck on kind of thing. Oh, there's. Oh, Shira's on the back. I kind of figured Shira had to be on there. Yeah. So how do you get this off? It sh yeah, it should just have like the like a little, little glue. Kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. It should come off pretty easy, I would think. <laughs> this is famous last word. <laughs> Thread the needle. Oh, here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It, it might yeah. it might still stick to the packaging, but you can take your thumb and kind of roll that off of there if it's still. Oh, on so, the oh box. yeah! Wow, look at the back. Princess. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. Ah, uh, that's so awesome. So yeah, that's Emiliano again with his um, Shira, and then Dusan's kind of cell accurate coloring. So yeah, they did a really good job with that. Jeez. That's going to make one hell of a box. So yeah, the Eternia, the Eternia collection. Oh, that's the lid. That's like a board game almost. What does it smell like, James? Like an old friend. Okay, oh wow. So yeah, this is a big old like it's almost like a, a magazine. Oh wait, God, that's so thick. A guide to Eternity, essay, episode, and guide interviews. All right, okay. Oh, awesome. So yeah, it's like here we go. So um, yeah, I think it's obviously it's all in German, so I haven't got a clue. But I guess it's the history of yeah. It talks about Conan the Barbarian. I hope you get a good look at this. That's old Skeletor. And then I think it goes into the history of the TV series. God, Emiliano's artwork, bloody hell. Yeah. Yeah. That looks stunning. The guy who like created new model sheets, as it were. Yeah, the Germans love Secret of the Sword. Um Yeah, it's just kind of and then, oh. just like sorry, I'm looking at all the uh No, oh, no, you're oh. fine, dude. Yeah. Um Man, I was with big gun. Oh, it's like oh, it talks about yeah, U.S. actor, German actor. No, I'm not very. But yeah, you get you get the idea. It's a big old uh, synopsis guide as well to all the episodes. Bloody hell! God, that's, that's awesome. Um, yeah, there's a lot in there. Okay, so Did that's Emiliano one do all the uh, filmation shots in that book too? Like, you know, I saw cloth. Yeah, basically, the, or... the, the, these guys had the same artwork available to them that BCI BCI commissioned back in the day. Okay. Oh, this is cute. So my my favorite. Um, kind of German comics. Well, actually, I like all the German comics. You've got the Interpart ones and the uh, Ihapa ones. Uh, this is like, um, I guess it's a new cover and a reprint. I guess it's this retro fabric. Yeah, retro fabric. This German company. They're the ones that do all the German exclusive publications where they do the collections of their comics and stuff. So this one is, um, is this Book of Power? I recognize the story. Oh, sorry. I think it is. He gets a book. No, it's just. I love that. Yeah, I remember this panel. Skeletor just kicking a tree. Bah! Look at that, like, like Van, Van Damme. Damme. Yeah. Yeah, Van Damme. Yeah. <laughs> oh, kickboxer. Yeah, kickboxer. Yeah. 
so yeah, it's, it's the it's like an Ehapa, I guess, strip, like a little freebie, and then advertises retro fabrics, um, other publications. That's cool. That's really that's it's so really nice. Cool. Okay, what else we got? Oh, this looks in. Bloody hell, what is all this? This looks oh, like a poster. A, yeah, a poster. Oh, it's that. It's that same one. It's really nice. Oh, actually. awesome! That is Whoa. so nice. It's a gorgeous looking poster. I want to put uh, Tyler's reactions on here because we get this from Gamer Bud. Shit, I've not seen Tyler smile this much about Master Universe in quite a while. Kind of. Well, nice. It feels good to have something to smile about. <laughs> you not be, not nuts. be all like, oh fuck. Yeah. This is so yeah. well packaged. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's another poster. Oh shit. Oh oh wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is oh, pretty so cool. cool. That's a good reproduction as well. This is yeah. like whoever whoever scanned this. That was a good quality. Wow. Okay, there's that. And then I gave them some cells. So I guess what they've done is just create these like little, they're nothing spectacular, just these little oh. card, uh, carded prints of the cells. That's still still awesome, though. though. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, that, that's not reverse. That's the reverse Battle Cat transformation, which is why, you know, the one they never use, which is why it's yes. on the flip mm. side. Um, I don't believe I provided this one. This is, um, I guess, another fan did that. Really nice oh, Shira one. Gorgeous. God, These are really beautiful. nice because they're they're printed on card, so they feel good. And then, yeah, this is my skeleton yeah. cell. <laughs> Boom. Um, right. Okay. That's all the. I guess that's all the bone. Oh, no, there's. Well, there's, oh, but there's more. Oh, these are done so nicely. So right. So, he meant, and then it kind of goes out. As oh, like, like the full panel. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Man. Holy shit. That's beautiful. And then the inside, that's yeah, and then great. you've got the discs. So obviously that's that. So that's that's disc one to disc. Four. So that's the first sixty-five episodes of He-Man. It's nuts. Um, disc six to ten. So uh, yeah. Something. Oh, oh, sorry. oh, the other side there. So oh, cool. God, that's it's really so nice. Cool. Um, oh, and then they. Oh, they, you can see what they've done. And then we've got the Whispering Woods or Castle Bright. Oh I say. man. God, it, the smell is so um, glorious. Toxicating. Then uh, <laughs> we got the fright zone. Oh, he man and she were stealing up oh, in the fright yeah. zone. They're like, what's nice. up, Wardak? So yeah, it's just um, and then and then the interior of the box. That's actually quite a nice little shot. The interior of the box is just that. <laughs> bang. That's really cute. So yeah, um, pretty amazing. Um, Amazing set. Although some would have you believe um, that their tellies do just as good a job of upscaling the uh, old DVDs. On a yeah, we're, we're, you were getting in arguments with people, or not was, really arguments, no argument. but just was, people saying like. Uh, there was, there was uh, one fan. Are... I mean, there's been there's been a few fans that have said like, my DVD is. Um, there's nothing wrong with believing believing that. <laughs> um, it's like this is. I, I assure you, this is the box making this sound. Hang on. Oh no, I didn't do it. I was always going to go. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh wait. Yeah, there are a few fans there go, saying. Man. There you go. <laughs> that was the box. Yeah, that, that was, was the box. box on the sleeve. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Box <laughs> betrayed me. Um, yeah. So there are a few fans. Like I'd say, ninety-nine point five percent of the majority of fans that interacted with the post I, I did were like, "Wow, they look amazing." And there were a few that were saying, "Oh, my DVD looks better," and it's like factually that's impossible and i was trying to explain to people it's like i'm not making these images look bad these are the images and when you blow up an image to compare it with the blu-ray you're going to get more detail i was i did uh, some comparison shots for nathan today to show him hopefully yep. show him on this and you go between the two and you look at the bci and you're like the bcis aren't that bad are they and it's like well you're talking about an image that's 720 by a for, so that's the Blu-ray. If yeah. you, go, you go back full yep. between them, yeah. So that's the DVD. It might not come through on the YouTube. Or not, uh, I know. Uh, I could tell the difference. And it's just, and also like the the what the reason for that white border is that that's the missing image on the DVD. There's the, the Blu-ray oh. has more of the image around it. But if you just look at like the detail on Beastman's face or Merman's eyes, I noticed. And again, it's it's not going to be a hundred percent fantastic because we're, we're we're streaming this on a YouTube video. Yeah. But you get the yeah. idea. Oh, I, yeah. and some of these shots that you sent me, you will definitely be able to. Oh yeah, like go to the Battle Cat. Yeah. <laughs> the Battle Cat one is uh yeah. is is, is tray dramatic, as the French would say. Oh my god! It's like what because on the on. The, that what that's doing see i used to work in dvd and, and blu-ray encoding and stuff like that so that was my job and with dvds the max you could get was a what the way to encode an episode of email would be 
something called um, either constant bit rate or variable bit rate. For the UK contender DVDs, which were a higher quality because of the resolution, we were using var variable bit rate. So it meant that it would encode the episode as best it could. When it would get to the transformation, it would do its best and it could only do so much. BCI, and it's, I'm not blaming BCI at all, they would encode the their episodes with a constant bit rate. So what that meant was it was just a flat rate for, and you couldn't, if there was like blocking on Battlecat, which you can see, you couldn't do anything about that. And with this value of power shot, people are gonna think, well, the comparison here is you screwed up the BCI grab. And it's like, no, the BCI, because they used in, um, interpolation instead of just slowing the footage down, you end up with um, frame blending, ghosting, sometimes call it. And that's what's happening there. So the Blu-ray is completely untampered with the the you won't notice that when you're watching the dvd of course not but you're gonna see like that slight ghosting effect and mm -hmm. tyler will be able to tell you on a simple uh, well, the biggest problem that the bci dvds had because they were going from pal to ntsc but they weren't doing it right is that the camera pans were always like oh god I hate the camera that. pans yeah you look at a shot of the palace attorney on the on the bci dvds and it's just not very pretty like even here with the yeah. Prince Adam one, it's just, you know, again, the beauty of the Blu-ray is, um, you know, is just the ability to to zoom in and look at stuff and see. And it's hard to explain. Like, I've watched He-Man for quite a while. And He-Man and she I should say. And watching these episodes for the first time in this quality, it's like, oh, you know, I'm seeing things that I never saw before, like tiny detail, and especially like Filmation's backgrounds, the textures and the detailing seeing a lot of that stuff for the first time at times it's just like oh my god like mind-blowing it's just it's really nice and like i say you know things that the german company adjusted the speed so we finally have the correct american speed and it's so lovely to oh. hear that again because nice. i spent years you know when, when when we first started doing the episode review website i was like i'm gonna make everything american speed because that's the proper speed and then you know, the day I go in to look at the DVD for the first time or the, the encode we're about to use, I was just like, oh, shit, Hallmark made them all PAL. And that's the moment I realized everything's going to be PAL from now on. And then this German company, not a billion dollar corporation that owned the property, said, let's try and restore this series to the way it should be. You know, funny that. God bless the Germans. Yeah, I just, love yeah. So it, much. I just love seeing it get that respect that it deserves. And, the, yes. you know, it hasn't been gotten, given until now. Yeah, it's it's weird because the opportunity has been there. Um, but it's like, you know, this how is my favorite. How many like, like little bullshit like DVD releases have we gotten of them? Where oh, it's just God. the same thing yeah. in so many, like, and, and the most recent one, the NBC Universe one was atrocious. Mm -hmm. I didn't even include any image, images from that because it's so bad. But one of my favorite things is like the detailing here. I always suspected that the little kid, the little boy in blue is holding the sword of power. If you look at the DVD, like I think he is. You look at the Blu-ray, and it's like it's clearly the Sword of Power. Yeah, yeah. You get mm -hmm. you get that detail. Like the little kid's got a mini Sword of Power, but it's just something you don't pick up on the on the DVD as much. And again, look at the cropped image on the DVD. Yeah, I, granted, it's like oh, I get to see a bit more of Teela's boot. You know, that might work for some people. Who knows? But um, you know, you get more of the image. See, even on the right hand side of the screen, you see that blotch. Where was that blotch before? <laughs> I hate the idea of anything that I'm seeing. I'm not seeing the complete image, even if it's just, yeah. just just a little bit like that. I still like will drive me crazy if I don't see it. everything yeah. oh, that was yeah, meant yeah. to be seen. That's the thing. Like, um, I mean, it's even funny when you see stills um, or like film reels from the Secret Sword because people have sold those before, like little clippings from the film. And I've got I've got a few of those. I've actually got the reels somewhere. But the um, you see that you see just how much of the shots were. You know, you see the hands on the peg bar or hands on the peg bar which is the funniest thing it's like no they're sorry the tops of the fingers which aren't supposed to be in shot so it's funny how they frame things but um yeah the dvds up until this point were really cropping it but like here there's so much detail going on on a dvd it's like struggling to make sense of all the rain and the, the mm -hmm. busyness of the image and he-man kind of gets lost and then you get the blu-ray and it's like oh, i can actually see yeah. he-man and what he's doing it's um, which is because awesome because that that scene is i always love this this scene even though it's not like my favorite episode that scene don't is let rob so Lambie, good. you say that <laughs> 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 rob rob <laughs> <laughs> but no, no it's such a beautifully fantastic. animated scene 
Oh yeah, yeah. It's um, it's so nice. I mean, but but like you know, I could I could spend hours going through and showing like so many different images and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's crazy. And, and and people think like there are some people going, "You're clearly making these images look worse." I'm like, I'm not. Why would I don't have any reason? To. I don't know so, how they're you know, saying that looks worse. Like I don't I don't get it. I don't know how the hell they're looking at at these Blu-ray images, and thinking this looks worse than the. Well, no, the, 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 like one one guy was saying, like bless him, was my my TV. My 4K TV. When I put a DVD in, it looks just as good as these Blu-rays, and it's like, no, it it cannot. Here, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> no, but like, we know for a fact. Like, don't get me wrong. TVs, 4K TVs, and a lot of the modern technology does its best to interpret an image. But if an image like the Battle Cat thing, where it's so pixelated, a 4K TV can't make sense out of that. It, it won't be able to go. Oh, let's restore the image because we suspect this is how it looked. It, it won't do that. It's dealing mm. with a certain resolution. A 4K yeah. TV is going to blow up that resolution and yeah. it's just going to make it look like a bigger like the version live, of the same. The live action movie on Blu-ray doesn't look that good on my 4K TV. Like it, it makes the, 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 the visual not... I mean, I just hope one day we'll get a 4K of that because the yeah, Blu-ray yeah. is well, yeah. it's not as pretty to look at on there as it did no, beforehand. It, it, is, it is funny though. Like, um, I, I've, you know, I've gone through those Blu-rays and it's just... It, gone through the episodes and the amount of kind of new details like obviously Sweet Bee's Home is one of my favourite episodes and it's just like certain shots little, because there's so much going on in that episode like obviously directed by Tom Teller and Alice and there's like little moments there's the bit when she refers to, you know stops Froster from completely seducing He-Man and it's like a, wow. it's a shot of Frost, Froster's boot and He-Man of uh, sorry, a shot of Teela's <laughs> I'll get this right in a second <laughs> a shot of she <laughs> boot and He-Man and uh, Froster in the background. And He-Man kind of does this look where he looks to, to camera. But in the Blu-ray, you see that he does this like cross-eyed face and this like, as he's blowing out. And it's like, I never, you never saw that. I, and I've got a PAL version of Sweetie's Home because the UK released it on DVD randomly. as like a She-Ra best of. And the Blu-ray, for the first time, you're like, oh, I can see all the expressions. In, in you know minuscule detail and, and certain other things where it's like wow well, I just never really caught that before and the detail like I say it, it really shines with the backgrounds and stuff where you're like ah oh, now I get it <laughs> you know it's just like uh, Treasure of the First Ones the Shira episode you know that's got all those gorgeous island shots and like you get all the, um, the like one of the final image um, uh, kind of the climactic battle nearly takes place inside and Hordak just goes like worthless treasure and he takes off and you get this gorgeous shot of all this like ancient ethereum treasure it's beautiful and dvd looks good but blu-ray you're like oh wow you get to see all the detailing all the tiny little bits even the you know in temple of the sun the black star statue is so clear now you're oh, like, i can see it i can see it perfectly it's we always i knew it was black star from my old tv recording you knew it was Black Star from the DVD, but now you see it in Blu-ray. It's like, oh my god, that is, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised no one got in trouble there. But you know, it's um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a it's a great set, and I get I, you know, before I forget, like people have been bummed out about like why you know why is this not being released in the US? It's it's like they're throwing up, you know, like they're burning money, or whatever they're, they're wasting their efforts and stuff. Or why is you know the question I keep getting asked is why is insert language here not on it? You know where. I hope this is, comes with Spanish language. I hope it comes with Italian. I hope it comes with French. And it's like, you have to understand, when a company gets the license to do something, they are so limited in what they can do unless they spend lots of money. So it's a case of this German company, who aren't the biggest German company in the world, are going to put their money into upscaling and making this series the best it can be. But also they're spending their money on distribution. If they want to extend that to America, that's another license. If they want to extend it outside of the EU, that's another license. If they, if you want to add languages, that's licensing because technically you can't be, you know, and I can understand from Universal or whoever, like you have to get the rights for it would be Universal. From their point of view, if they, if they give the license to Germany, like a flat license in Germany, go, we're going to release it everywhere. You kill the opportunity of selling the license to other countries. So in other words, like an American company, let's hope so, might, might at some point say, hey, we want to do a Blu-ray release. They wouldn't have been able to do that if the German company had already got there first. So it's a case of, you know, you have to kind of respect that. I understand why people are frustrated, but that's just the way it is. Like a lot of the, 
the German products like the retro fa fabric material, they've got the Masters of the Universe license, but they can only sell within the EU. Within the EU. It's just the way these licenses are. Unless you're a big American company like Universal themselves, and it's like, we're going we're gonna to sell this series worldwide. They can afford to do that because they is a billion-dollar company. Well, and they're good people but, too, right, James? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. They've, they've, done, they've done the best efforts to preserve the series. I mean, I series. thought they were. I mean, I, I mean, this is the thing I keep telling people is like my, my one hope out of all of this is that going forward, um, I, I don't think it will happen, at least not immediately, but like streaming services, streaming platforms, YouTube, whatever, um, US DVD, uh, Blu-ray releases, Spanish, Italian, whatever, use these new digital masters because they are currently the best you're going to get unless someone goes out and decides right let's take these reels let's bake them let's get them and and restore the series which i very much doubt is going to happen you know the fact that i i, I say and it sounds like i'm shitting on M, uh, nbc universal or maybe i am but the, but the fact is they released the he-man and she-ra dvd box set in 2019 after a billion other box sets of he-man and she-ra had already been released it's like that's that's what you're doing with this property you know, everybody, I remember like when I posted, I said, hey, DVDs come out. Everybody's like, surely Blu-ray. And it's like, you'd think. And it, it's up to a German company to go, not only do we have the license to make the Blu-ray, but we're going to do our best to get these episodes up to Blu-ray uh, things. So they went through all the PAL masters, upscaled them, made the speed, you know, slowed the series down again so it was American speed. Um, I've talked about it publicly, but, you know, all the filmation logos at the start were all kind of all over the place. Some of the intros were the season two intro and season one episodes. And I said to them, here's a list of episodes like the what was it, 18 or 21, I forget, um, episodes that had the original blue and pink filmation logo. It's like they're the ones you need, the blue and pink filmation logo on these episodes. And then they reinserted all those. All the She-Ra season two episodes just had the standard rainbow one and it's like no no the season two of she-ra has the you know uh, orangey yellow one with the presents in script and like, okay so they did they restored those i mean they were so willing to do so much stuff it was um yeah it was rather awesome even stuff like <laughs> i was watching one i was like i was like if i found like a rare version of house of shakoti because at the end of the episode it just said um it just showed the image of shakoti's glowing face <laughs> And it just faded to black. And I was like, it said to be continued. No, it said to be continued. It didn't say to be continued on screen. I thought, of course, because a German rest, oh, a German yeah. thing. So I, I went in and I said, like, you know, are you going to? And they said, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll revise that. So it's stuff like that. I'm, I'm hoping they revised it. But, you know, not not to be, you know, I'm saying the set is perfect. If Recall the set. It's not, it's yeah. not, it's <laughs> not right. <laughs> If, but if if they didn't if they didn't put to be continued at the end of that um, in the text version, I wouldn't be the most upset in the world. It would James suck. is gonna throw it in the trash and light the trash <laughs> on fire. I, I do have one question, okay, and it's about uh, Diamond Red Disappearance. Is the missing scene? Oh yeah, yeah. It's in. Yeah, they put it back in. Yeah. <laughs> it's, and it's it's, yeah! it's pretty bloody seamless. Like I would I would say yeah, it's it's. You you get you get a slight a slight shift in quality where you're like well this is clear from a different source but if you're watching it you can still you know it still looks it, it doesn't, it doesn't look matter. like you're suddenly watching a VHS version it's yeah. it flows it goes you know from them vanishing what sort of magic is this, is this? and now for you and it's yeah. just yeah <sighs> yes so, all right yeah, that's that's all back in oh, oh so what other things did we put we sorted out there are a few other things because. Yeah, one of the, I think it was the BCI release had a really weird mistake on the rarest gift of all, where they'd, the, the um, what happens? Like some things fall on the floor uh, in Man Arms Lab and catch fire. And it happens twice because someone balls up at BC, BCI. So that's been fixed. Uh, yeah, numerous other things, just like little bits and pieces. But um, yeah, and all the bonuses, obviously, we haven't mentioned. You've got, Power of Grayskull documentary, which is the one that Rob McCullum and all those guys did. Um, you've got all the B, I think all the BCI documentaries on there. Um, what else? There's a bunch of, I think there's like a, a documentary that was on the 30th anniversary set that Mill Creek released, that very kind of limited number one they did with mm -hmm. um, like the kind of 3D Castle Grayskull on the box. Yeah, um, yeah I think that's, I, I, I know, there's probably loads more. There's a couple of good Easter eggs on there. Dare I say, but um, yeah, check them out, kids. 
And the set is region and free. And corporations. Sorry, what? <laughs> the set is region free. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, I, I haven't checked myself. I really should because I've got a um, – my, my player down there is region free. But if I pop, yeah. pop in a wrong one, it'll say, you need to switch this. I'm like, okay, magic button, yeah. do your stuff. But um, I've been told uh, by the company it's region free. Yeah, I it's, think they're public it's, it's region free. But I, the thing is, if you want to get it here in the States, you have to – there's – you like you – I, you might have to explain this one, James. I think you place the order on their website, right? But then you got to yeah. go to another website to get it shipped to you. Yeah, correct? because there's I, I don't know the exact process and I need to write it down and kind of do a post this week. But yeah, there's like I know a bunch of people in the UK and the US that have used like various. I didn't know these things existed, but of course they do like shipping direct diversion things yeah it's like i want to buy this thing it's like we don't ship there it's like oh but this company they make it happen so yeah i don't know i don't know how it works but they make it work yeah i need um, to find the link to that yeah whatever yeah. it takes i have to have this set <laughs> whatever it takes so, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i'm ready to go full scale terminator mode whatever i gotta do i mean to get to my hands on this set rightly so dare i say i think everyone yeah. should have this set in their lives um absolutely yeah i mean obviously things like the menus are all in german but if you're looking no one's going to sit there and gonna go i'm gonna watch every episode of the series i mean i would say that but um and also i can i can watch go through the deep menus and go uh episode 32 search of the vho um because i can because i'm weird you don't so, want to watch that episode do you <laughs> Yes, fucking wicked. What are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking, talking about? Speaking yes. <laughs> a different language. Don't there, make man. me. Oh, hang on, hang on. Don't make me go. The gun is on your ass. <laughs> so the rubber's um, going to go to hell for saying something like that. <laughs> so yeah, the um, yeah, it's well worth getting. But all the menus are in German. But you can like, you know, pretty the best thing about plan, German right? is you can pretty much figure out it's like episode and it's like i guess that's episode you know common or whatever common sorry, sorry germany if any germans watch this going he's making a mockery of, out of our language but they'll be saying that in german um sorry germans you are awesome they're gonna need those probably... setbacks now yeah man. you are it's like nine e-talk isn't, isn't that no in german I, nine I mean, is no it. yeah 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 like it, i just got that from me watching a lot of indiana jones movies <laughs> that's a, not the best advert for German. No, it's not. I'm just saying, but I, I pick up my uh, some of my my language uh, varies by watching movies. That's what I do. Maybe so. maybe in Indiana Jones 17 will be um, a good advert for Germans. Uh, is is it, it, yeah. How did you? How, how did everyone here feel about that that new trailer? It was okay. It was fine. I'm glad the that trailer still... was fine, but I know the movie's gonna suck. Yeah, it's it's gonna suck. I, 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 ball. See, I, I love, already know I, it. I was saying to Dushan, it's like I love. Um, Phoebe Waller Ding Dong because she's she's in a British show called Fleabag which is an amazing TV show she's really talented and stuff but it does look is this going to be another kind of like at the end Indy dies somehow and then he passes the mantle and at the end she puts the hat on it's like here we go again <laughs> so I don't know but it's, it's like couldn't they have just ended it with Last Crusade because that's, that well, like... that's how it ends for me that is it go on off in the sunset and you know what nothing else happens after that Oh, yeah. the, the what about, what, what like, about the beef, man? The beef. The, the, the Crystal Skull, Kingdom of the it, Crystal Skull, whatever it's called. I did love Kate Blanchett's character with the blonde bob. Oh, my. Her right? in a shitty Russian accent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's the best kind of villain. You just don't feel today, Mr. Johns, or whatever. It's it's she was like, yeah. congested. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know, but I didn't. I, the end of that film, I remember us all sitting in the cinema, kind of looking at one another, going, "What the hell?" And it was just like weird, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll what? never, for, I'll never forget that email I got from Tyler because I was out of town and I checked my email because uh, this is before really having uh, cell phones that has all that shit on it, and it was just. I think the subject, it was either blank, so it either said no subject or it was just like Crystal Skull review. And then he just said, bullshit. And it was just like one <laughs> long, like, bullshit. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I've doing that. I've never watched sure. that movie, and I yeah. never will. Good. Oh, you've never seen it? No, I didn't. Oh, no. You're like, you don't need yeah. to. Yeah, no. You've I'm, been spared. Um, but yeah, the, the fifth one, like, it's, it's, I'm intrigued by how, what they're going to do, because obviously they're de-aging him, so it's like, well, is time travel involved, or is it, like, prequels, like, he's going to talk about, oh yeah, back then we did this, but it's like, you can't really, I just think the thing in the trailer that bothered me the most, I said to Dushan, was that, that final shot where he does the whip thing, yeah. they all pull out their guns, he ducks, then they start shooting, it's like, at what point do you just go, 
And we ducked. Bang, 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 that bang. That makes no but sense like, at all. <laughs> it's unless, so weird. Unless there I was get, like a trap door right underneath yeah, it or something. But, but, it, but, it's, but it's the fact that they all just, it's like he ducks. Then they all just start aimlessly <laughs> firing at the window. And it's like, but the, I understand like, you know, logic of like, oh, I can't shoot you. But it's like the old man just ducked. You could literally point your guns down and, and kill him. But it's like whether that was done for the trailer and whether in the film that actually doesn't have, you know what trailers yeah. are like these days. Yeah. Yeah, like true. the amount of Marvel trailers, it's like, here's the Hulk. He's not in the film. You know? <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm glad, honestly, I'm glad Spielberg's not directing Me too. it. Him and so, Lucas, like, uh, I'm glad they're not. So I'll give it a shot. I mean, I'm not going to go to theaters. Same, I'm going to watch it, but I don't, when it comes I'm on Disney Plus, much. I'll watch it. My my expectations yeah. are very very low. Which is a sad thing, isn't it? Really, because you want to go into an Indiana Jones film, go like, fucking hell, India. I mean, I really right. I, when I, when I, I want to be see for stuff. the fourth one, I remember we were all going like, oh my god, it's going to be amazing. And that opening scene, I know the fridge thing is like the refrigerator thing is laughed out loud but the opening scene was really fascinating where he's walking around that kind of faux town and then there's a big explosion like oh my god he's in like the middle of like a nuclear test thing but then the film was just like oh and here's Shia LaBeouf and here's this who, who I who, yeah, my. Speaking, of, speaking of McDonald's he was um I remember I don't know if I've told this I might have told this story before I apologize about it, but I was um I was in Los Angeles uh, many got 2016 2017 I went to a comedy night then I went and got really drunk somewhere and then i woke up i was i was in where i was supposed to be but i woke up and i went to mcdonald's and i was sitting in the no standing in the queue uh, sorry the line and i turned round, and shia labeouf was like about two behind me because there was like a big kind of what do you call it like a big uh like the big jeeps that rappers have i forgot they're called now <laughs> rappers i sound so white Hummers. What those rappers have <laughs> James. What are they? Hummer? Yeah, so the big, big old, and and they um and yeah, he was like two people behind me, and I kind of turned and I was like, oh fuck it, shine the both, and I kind of and I kind of gave him a little, and he was like, was like yep, we've 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 connected, me and Shine, because you're like, yeah, you're I both really a, drunk, best buddies now. Yeah, it could have been. It was probably like I was still hung over, and it's probably like a homeless man that I was just like, he'll do. I'll pretend he's Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe he was like acknowledging, yeah, my career's in the shitter and I made a McDonald's. This was no, I like think that. 2017, was he doing anything? I, I think he'd done all the Transformers, hadn't he? Yeah, he was done with that by then. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was doing yeah, more like, arts, artsy stuff by then. Oh yeah, wearing a paper bag over his head and oh, he'd yeah. done like a Lars von Trier film. That was pretty... Um, yeah, he's done some oh, stuff. Oh yeah, the, yeah. The, nymph the Nymphomaniac. That's the, was it like part yeah. one and two and it's like... yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I saw I saw one Lars von Trier. I think that's his name. Lars von Trier film in the cinema. Um, Antichrist. My, one of my friends recommended me and another friend go and see it. It was so gruesome. It kind of put me off food for about a week. Great diet, by the way. Watching a <laughs> Lars von Trier film. Like, I do never. I never need to see that film ever again, or even yeah. think about it. It's like a baby, like die in the first minute of the film, and you're like, Great. oh, we've took a good start then. And um, and then by the end it was just like, oh, it was grim. I mean, this you can talk about anything on this podcast, but there are certain <laughs> things. I can imagine James's reaction is like Keanu Reeves watching that baby die and Bram Stoker's Dracula. He's like, ah, no, ah, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is still a gruesome scene in that movie, but but Keanu is selling that. You know, ah, like, he like, takes you uh, out of it. He's yeah, so after bad. like having an orgy with the three vampires, he's you know. He should have just like see the baby die. He should have just gone like, "Whoa!" That'd have been like, "Yeah, perfect." We'll, <laughs> yeah. We'll That's go a good with that. Keanu. That's a good Keanu there. Oh, you can't like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. Like, I love those films. Yeah, Fantastic they're good movies. Films. Like Bogus Journey was so funny because we all. I remember as a teenager thinking, "This one's not as good." And then you watch it much later, and you're like, "Oh, it's really fucking dark." <laughs> they mm -hmm. they did something very different with that movie. I haven't um, seen that since theaters. It's been. Oh, a, I, I haven't seen. Yeah. Go go back and stuff. watch it. I think as an adult you would appreciate. Uh, the, I mean, I liked it, but I, I and I remember when it came out on VHS. I guess like one time, but I have not seen the film since then. Since the early nineties, essentially when it came yeah, out. The um, excellent adventure. I still love that film. It's mm -hmm. so much fun. Such a. I mean, it's just. Yeah, just a fun. Well, I mean, fun that was movie. that was back in a time when it's just like, <laughs> hey, we have this zany idea, and it's, they're like throwing spaghetti noodles at the wall. It's like we'll see what sticks. 
Now they just play it too safe, you know. It's yeah. Big, well, big now it's, blockbuster it's, shit. You make a film by committee, and um, you have to go through the the process, obviously, of box ticking to make a film these days. Yep. Yeah. And I don't mean that in a horror. I just mean that's the way it is. That's the, mm -hmm. if you, Hollywood companies are now coming out and going, yeah, we we we're trying to, you know appease everyone it's like just make a film just fucking make a film i miss, so, that. I, miss that when, I, I i miss the days where rated r movies were meant for adults they weren't meant to like we got to get children in as well like no that's when you make a toy line based off of the r-rated movie yeah which is balls <laughs> it was making yeah. kids want to see your rated r film which meant it meant something it was special it's crazy isn't it like they had toy lines for in the 80s like rambo and um robocop had uh the Alien. Robocop. Yeah. Predator. yeah Demolition Man. Yeah, Demolition Man. Yeah, using you and uh, new adventure figures to do the Demolition Man toy line. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think one of the most. Yeah, yeah. like Vi yeah. Vizar, the only black character in Adventures seen the is, Simon, is Simon Man. Phoenix. If you look at it, I mean, it's. <laughs> yeah, just look it up. Like Simon, I know they uh, were Simon. like the 90s where they were big on reusing stuff, but. Well, like, uh, remember, um, Stallone is He Man. So, I mean, we, we can have that in the movie. You know? Stallone <laughs> plays New Adventures He Man. It'd be awesome. I'd buy yeah. tickets. Well, that would be good. There you yeah. Go. There was a, there was a toy line in the Lundgren. 90s. What was it called? There was a toy line in the 90s called Vortec, and they kind of repurposed. It was basically doing masks in the you know in the 90s and they repurposed like a bunch of vehicles and stuff not as as accurate as that but it was like wow they're just kind of oh there oh. you go yeah okay that's yeah. nuts it's amazing i i because i would love to own that simon phoenix figure just because i love the movie too but like it's almost like you kind of put them right next to each other and just you know have like, new adventures next to demolition man they're both future toy <laughs> lines you it's know? the dream team up yeah. yeah you know it's but it's it's cool i don't think it's a shitty thing i mean it's 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 a money saving thing it's just cool to have a toy line based on demolition man so didn't they do that with like um oh there was another toy line you know they they the there was a robin hood toy line and they yeah repurposed uh, uh, figures like from another uh, like uh like the uh uh wait 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 uh fryer tuck is a repurposed um yeah look at that same the... same body armor and everything that's yeah. nuts that's so weird yeah, it's badass <laughs> The armor on his chest and everything. I mean, they, they really just didn't do jack shit except just put a hat <laughs> on his head. Yeah. You know, God bless Mattel back then, you know. I don't mind those head sculpts, you know, no matter how cheap <laughs> yeah. it is, you know. Um, but the, uh, oh, my God. I'm, the playset, the, the, the. Well, yeah, yeah, the Ewok Village was repurposed. Oh, yeah. I actually have that right here. Yeah. yeah. But the Sherwood it, Forest playset, it's sitting right in front of me here. That's the Ewok playset, yeah. Um. The uh, Gamorrean Guards is is uh, Friar Tuck, just with a different yes. head sculpt, I think. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And I'm I'm trying to remember who else. I don't I don't know if Azim um, is like a Lando Calrissian used or anything like that. Well, it, it, well, it's also like the uh, Batman Batcave. They just fucking recolored that for every movie. Yeah. Yeah. Or Silver or Silverhawks were reused for like uh, uh the the first Dark Knight collection, told them based on the uh, Wasn't first there movie. Like a, a Knights. Knights of the Round Table action figure line. They repurposed the slime pit. Or was did they do that? With oh, Harry oh yes, yeah, yeah. Know. There was one. I, I know Knights of the Round Table taunt, uh, like the King Arthur Knights of the Round Table. Yeah, taunt. yeah. There was a repurposed slime pit, like almost. And then the Harry Potter line did a a not the exact same, but the same oh, but concept. Like a, yeah, it's same basic. Principle, I mean, yeah. it's it's got like a I think a snake head that opens up, and I think I'm like, well, hell, it's a slime pit. I mean, it's cool, yeah. you know, but. uh but yeah, they've repurposed a lot of stuff, and you know what? They did it better back then. They um, certainly did. Yeah, they were better at being cheap back in the day. They can't do it now. Hey, look at that. There's a good yeah, man there. Yeah. Yeah. Coke yeah. Zero is the best, man. I like Coke Zero. Yeah. We are, we are earlier, a they Coke sponsored podcast <laughs> here. <laughs> when I had my, my, my McDonald's earlier, they didn't have a um, Coke Zero. I had to get regular Coke. I was oh, like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, that tastes like garbage. It was really it was like, <laughs> Yeah, it's like when hairs drink on the... my chest and all other places I didn't yeah. want it. So yeah. when you drink the zero sugar ones, you go back to the regular, it just doesn't taste the same anymore. It's it's weird. It's, it's there was a time like over here in the UK we had um I mean they still do it. Uh, no, actually they don't. They did Coke Zeri Coke Zeri? Coke Zero Cherry. Oh, um, we got that here. And vanilla. But it was, yeah, we had it over here like about That's ten years thing. ago. And cherry was, vanilla too. Oh really? You have a cherry vanilla. Uh, yeah, yeah. We got all, I I got access to all kinds of twenty ounce. Uh, not everything because like you know how it's set up here in the states. Like every area, 
like like up north they like they sold dr pepper as a coke product up north and down south but not here like here it's a pepsi product oh. yeah it's, oh, how weird. Odd. It's, it's an odd setup yeah all over the place it's like that all over the country i always love coming to america and like seeing all the random differences and, and james is like eddie murphy with a crown coming on when he comes to america there experiencing That's, mcdonald's I, and I would do an impression <laughs> that we don't want this podcast to be shut down but uh, oh, yes. no. no we don't need to be canceled no exactly yeah we're, we've got plenty of other things to cancel us for. we would have been canceled uh, already though yeah i'm yeah. sure we, we've offended still... everybody but they just have no power over us right now <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, yes, yeah, it's, it's funny. I go to America, and it's like I, 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 I got a gorge when I'm in America. It's like I'll just, I'll be really super duper healthy on this trip, and it's like, oh, hello, Twinkie, and it's just like, and you can buy those over here, but you have to buy them, you know, import wise, and it's oh, every Twinkie is like, you know, three dollars or something. So but also, three stuff, dollars, sure. stuff tastes different over there like it'd be the same brand but it, it tastes different when you're here. oh yeah yeah like oh, my, my favorite it's funny my over, over here in the uk we obviously get lots of stuff from around europe and so we did prior to brexit but you, when you go into like a chip shop or something and you get a coke i'm talking regular coke now you get a coke um the, the my favorite coke was russian coke there was something about it they probably put loads of like drugs in there but it tasted <laughs> so nice <laughs> like america you can you can tell because you'd read the book the, the can and it would say whatever it was like what country and russian coke always tasted so damn nice it was like oh something about russian coke they put they put hairs on the on the palms of your hands so it was um yeah really it sounds good. like an alcoholic beverage i'll have a russian coke you know it, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. it does <laughs> it does you know pretty pretty close to uh one have of my you uh, had like a mexican coke russian. like a coke in like the tall glass balls with like the natural cane sugar you ever had that when you're over here or they sell that over there Oh yeah, they, I think they sell that over here. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I've ever had that. I'm trying to lay off the sugar, but you know, I say that. It's it, I guess it's like considered like a. I mean, not that it's like healthy, but I guess if you like you were to have one, it's, it's like a more natural. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I haven't had it either because I don't drink soda. I just drink Dasani water and uh, rain. Your energy drink. drinks. Yeah, my, that's, my, uh, that's yeah, dedication. That's dedication. It is, man. The, the last time I had an actual sprite when I was I was helping out set up at a golf tournament. I was like, oh my god this, I, it was just like i hadn't had a sprite in probably 20 years or more like it was just not oh it wow. was weird oh, really oh. weird <laughs> it was it was awful like they do you go like because i do that when i step <laughs> on it because i'm not i don't drink it a lot i will drink it here and there like a root beer or something but when i do i'm like because <laughs> of the fizziness <laughs> well not, not so keep much drinking. that no i because I, I like having like seltzers like i like so, rebecca's seltzers. wrestling oh, okay. with a, uh, a tiny little ghost yeah, <laughs> that's a ghost. I, I'm never prepared for the fizziness. I always it, love that feeling when you first take a sip of soda. Yeah, tingling like your, your cheek. Yeah, and your eyes, My eyes water. water. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I love it when uh, when you do that, and then and then your eyes bleed. That's, that's the best sensation. <laughs> God, what do you guys drink? No, I know it's, it's it's those Russian cokes, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. whatever, whatever you, drugs they're pumping in. If you've had a Russian you. coke, you piss and yeah. it comes out blue. It's magical and it glows. I mean, that's that's normal, right? <laughs> oh yeah. man, and that's that's how James finds himself at McDonald's thinking this hobo <laughs> that looks like Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. <laughs> man man shia labeouf um yeah so that's our tale of uh russian cokes I'll, I'll have to any, so, sorry for anybody watching where's joe any sign of joe anywhere uh, uh, is nathan is, is has he even responded to you no he he hasn't responded i i'm under the impression uh hmm. from intelligence that i have gathered that i i think that he may have just he may have totally spaced on it he may still think that we were doing the show at my or oh man that was suck if he did Maybe. So he's probably out running errands, but you know, since he doesn't have a cell phone. He's done that. Though. He's done that before. It's been yeah, a he's long done that before. time. Yeah. It's like we're gonna oh, do the show earlier today, I'm and then try it's just and like, call him. Right what you could do is like have a bonus episode. It's just Joe going, Welcome to Fans of Power, guys, and it's just him for like an hour, just bonus episode. Yeah, yeah just talk about of, what he ate that day yeah, and uh, Yeah. People love his tales of food. Uh <laughs> kind of <laughs> like a woodland creature. Yeah. <laughs> Just scurrying. Yeah, it's easy to picture him running around on all fours, you know. Like <laughs> that's, a, that's how I always picture him. Climbing you know, up I trees I was, and stuff. I was, I was telling Dave Shan the other day, I didn't realize Joe had long hair. I was watching the, <laughs> the episode, one of the episodes the other day, and he turned to do something. His hair was, and I was like, he's got long hair? I was like, I never would have. That's really yeah, bizarre. Yeah, it's like longer than mine. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was like sticking out the back, and I was like, because it was so, it caught me off guard. It reminded hey. me of the first time in, oh, man. Yeah, you are a dipshit. Where the fuck are you? 
Put him on speaker. <laughs> oh no, I I totally forgot. Is he embarrassed? I hope he is. He's, he's not he's not going to drive off the road, is he? Oh yeah, I forgot he does have that that cell phone. I, I'm imagining he gave. This, I, I, I figured he was like calling call from a payphone or something like that. Like, <laughs> like Rebecca calls the only payphone in parts unknown. That's where Joe's hanging out. That would be funny. It's just like it, it's, it's like a bat phone, you know. But it's just some yeah. random ass payphone that they haven't tore down yet. Aww. for oh, whatever so reason. Good. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Did I hear him say he's in the shower? <laughs> he's like, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to go hang myself in the shower. Aww. We'll do it live. It is kind of funny. You can't really hear he's what he's saying, saying but you can hear. Games. It sounds like Charlie Brown's teacher right now. <laughs> 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 this is a new low. I don't even know how to put this on speaker mode. <laughs> what? Put the, put, hit the speaker button that should be up. Yeah, there should be a thing on the on the the call deal that you can hit the speaker. <laughs> All right, get cleaned oh, up. His his internet's get better and then jump on up the in phone. here, and then we will start the review of the episode. I wish you told me we already finished up. <laughs> yeah, we were done, today. man. Yeah. All right. Oh, bless him. All right, we we need the play by play of this since we couldn't hear it. Uh, sorry, I was on a Facebook call. I don't know how to put it on. Oh, all. Also, he didn't have an actual cell phone. It was no. Well, well, he's, got, he got, he's like he gave you his number. No. What, what did What did he say? He's like, I'm a dipshit. It's the first thing he <laughs> said. He says it was James's fault. He said James told him it was going to be regular time. No, uh, oh. James's regular time, five p.m. <laughs> the usual oh, James man. time. The usual James. So you tried to put it off on James, like. No. <laughs> It's not your fault, James. No. <laughs> we always. No, he was helping. He was James helping his sister put up a fence, so he was. Oh, he's doing, doing good something then. good. Yeah. yeah. So is he actually? <laughs> he's, at he's coming home? on. He's getting cleaned up. He just ate. He's gonna jump in. I know, see every time he is like, he always has to say, "I, I was helping building a new orphanage. I, I was feeding the, the hungry." <laughs> you know, he's always got a good deed to cover up why he was late. Like right? you know, no, he's just so happy. Can you imagine though? Save that... this baby from a burning building. <laughs> Joe is sitting there in a robe with like uh, spam on and coke, on. drinking yeah. a coke, yeah. and, he, and he's a got coat, what? yeah. And he's got it on a, a fancy paper plate, and he's sitting there, and he gets this call. Huh? What's this about? We, we're not doing the show for another two hours. Oh shit! And he like, what, what, a girl calling man. me, man? What's this about? Pooping in the floor. <laughs> I love the idea of the phone in the middle of nowhere, though. That's so good, yeah, like the old pay yeah. phone, just in the middle of, like, yeah, just a desolate... Well, that, that desert picture he sent of us, of uh, like, where that lady gave him 10 bucks and said things would get better. Like, I picture that's where the, the pay phone was going to be at. It was right where he was thought to be homeless. <laughs> yeah, and that, oh, that, he was just happy to be hanging out right there. And don't worry, son, it'll get better. <laughs> Do I still have that photo? I, I, I was wondering if James saw it, because Joe had, like, flowing, curly, like brown hair in that picture like he was pretty proud of that picture someone thought i was homeless and give me 10 bucks here look you yeah, know like it. he was not ashamed at all about that he's like hey, i'm gonna tell everyone about this was, like i say him having long hair really caught me off guard i was like i did not expect it reminded me of um uh, new adventure skeletal when he's him, oh his... yeah he's bald on top uh, to get long hair yeah, and yeah. i was like is that what is that joe I was, I was like wow it's the ultimate comb over this, this is gonna be amazing be... It's yeah. been creepy because he cropped out his face on this, but yeah, that's yeah. that's what he looked like when he <laughs> when he got. Sorry, it's the cropped out faces. It's just yeah. that literally I, looks like something out of the night. Yeah, out of the nightmare. <laughs> yeah, he looks like, like standing in the corner of the room. Just the like... funny thing is, having seen Joe in person and looking at this, I would not think that was Joe. That doesn't look like Joe. It, it, he definitely looks like a Dahmer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's there's, yeah. there's there's a documentary ready to be made about it, the three part yeah. Netflix documentary, yeah, and they interview all of us about it. Like, I, I we, nobody knew. We always thought he was a sweet guy. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, a little, maybe a little. Yeah, was like, I, I was, so Vicky had bodies in his basement. We, you know. <laughs> and then it, it plays clips from the show where we're joking yeah. about it. Yeah. Oh, and the FBI shows up. Like, did you know about this, sir? Like, no, I, I would just made fun of it. I really didn't know it was really happening. Yeah, is Tyler telling the truth or is he yeah. co-conspirator? Yeah, yeah, no, come, no. come with, yeah, Tyler. come with us, sir. You're, uh, like, no, you're wait, an I got accessory. a podcast to do, man. Yeah, you're I got to walk out. You're going to jail. They're like, they're like looking at looking at Joe. There's no way he could have carried a human body. He's accomplished. He's accomplished. <laughs> Tyler Baker clearly was the muscle. You stood there. I didn't yeah. carry any. I can't carry a body. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't deadlift that much. What the hell are you talking? You ever carried a dead body before? Hey, yeah, yeah, put yourself in it. Yeah. Like, have, yeah. Have you ever carried a dead body? I, mean, I look strong, but I can't do all of that. I'm like Arnold. I cannot lift all that. It's dead weight. <laughs> I I have lifted up a person who fainted one time, and I'm like, oh my god, like it, wow. Just, and she was like a small, like she fainted at work, and I tried to and. I mean, for such a, a, teenage, weight, a, a teenage girl that's like thin, she was heavy as shit trying to pick yeah. her up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell her that. You'll give her a complex. Well, no, well, no. You I, were I, heavy I, as shit. I, I, I told her after the fact, after, after we, you know, they got her out of there. But I was like, God, you were heavy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just oh, she looked like, she always, I thought I told her she looked like Claire Danes. So me trying to be picture, picture, uh, picking up like a young Claire Danes off the floor. You know, but Claire well, Danes with the weight of an actual fallen star. You're like, Geez. yeah, that's what it was. Oh my <laughs> God, Claire. Yeah, after Terminator 3, it was all downhill. That's what it was. Yeah. Picture Arnold in Terminator 3 picking up Claire Danes. There you go. <laughs> I just compared myself yep, to Arnold. Well, 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 that's, that's the word. You know, no, you know, that's not good because I hate Terminator 3. What a piece of shit. <laughs> that was. Yeah, that was that's the reason. I was a bad, bad comparison. God, oh. fucking awful. I yeah. went and saw it three times. <laughs> it was so awful. I went and saw it three times. <laughs> I was like, this is Arnold's last film. He's going into politics. I got to make make it the best. I'm like, oh, he's oh back. God, I thought, he's well, lost, I thought his, uh, I thought his last was uh, last appearance was that Around the World in 80 Days Disney movie with Jackie Chan and Owen Wilson. Yeah, with the big up, ass but... hairdo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. yeah I, yeah, I never watched it. Yeah, it was, yeah, don't, don't, don't. I didn't either, but I just I saw the cameo. Yeah, I saw the one in the rundown, and I was like, I'm turning that shit off after I saw his cameo. Well, I'm done. Oh yeah, hey, man. <laughs> Well, you don't like Sean William Scott and The Rock. Yeah, and The Rock, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Where's no, Sean thanks. William Scott? Um, I'm sure he's waiting for that American Pie sequel to come out. I mean, he he did the hockey movie Goon and Goon 2. Yeah, I, 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 like, I like those a lot. Yeah. I, did, I did see Goon. Yeah, Goon's funny. 6 a.m. Bag skate pussies. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the scene at the back of the bus where he has to... Yeah, to ride, ride piss hole. Yeah. yeah, it's just like... Ugh. Glad but, you're, uh, riding, I, you're riding piss hole. Skull fuck your mother. I, I don't remember. I, I, I watched this film for about so five tight. or six No days. way, baby. Came out of there. You adopted. <laughs> you clearly... I, I watched it five or six times because that was my job. Because I did the Blu-ray, but I had no idea. Right, you did the Blu-ray for Goon? We the, well, the UK Blu-ray. We oh, did, that's like, fucking awesome, everything. man. But oh, yeah. I watched it about six times. I, I only remember like vague bits from it. But I did, I did, I do remember enjoying it though. And didn't they do a sequel, which I didn't see? The sequel's yeah. okay, not as good as the. It's been out for a couple of years. It's not as good as the first one, but it, it's oh, all right. Okay. Kurt Kurt Russell's kid plays like the the main bad guy in it. Kurt Russell's kid. Okay. Yeah. Kate Hudson. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I, I, I love it. No, no, no one of that movie sucked. What's his name? Loopy. Thanks for Loopy, coach. I need to watch that film again. It's been yeah. too long. He gets on the, he get, uh, joins the team and he's uh, got his brother skates. And then you hear the, his friend. It's like, they're skate brothers. I don't remember any of this. I remember there was a French man in it. French man. James was drunk. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the star player. That's He's like, a star player, that's right. Yeah, yeah, he like falls falls from grace. It's like, yeah, after the drugs and the fuck tapes, like it's basically just Doug's there to like beat the shit out of guys to protect him. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, I, I, I do need to watch this again. Oh, the, the carpet. That's it. I've seen it too many fucking times. You, you know it really well. Yeah, I do. Have you thought yeah. about doing like a goon podcast? You could just talk about the film. Just talk about the movie every fucking episode. <laughs> every episode. <laughs> Uh, I believe this scene, and you break it down for an hour, just one scene. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Or he does like a dramatic reenactment, like like a, like a uh, like a oh, radio yeah. play, a one, one man doing. show. Or... Yeah. Actually, yeah. to be honest, like we were talking about Sean William Scott, I'm sure he's looking for work. He'd probably get him on the podcast, I, dude. I'd yeah. love to talk to him. Just be like, dude, that movie's fucking great. And tell yeah. him, I thought your mom was hot. 
They're referring to like American Pie. <laughs> nah. yeah. I, I like the. I, you know what? Uh, those American Pie movies, like the first first one's okay, it's guilty pleasure. Second one's all right. Like they're they're fine. They're fine. Nah, Who thinks they wouldn't I, get I made in this day and age? Uh, that, that is true. Or I mean, they, they are did, they are doing another one, aren't they? they, are like they a, huh? I'm pretty sure. I I could have swore I, I thought I was somewhere that we're like all parents now and shit like that and. Um, I, I could have sworn. Well, I don't want to because I, I I saw it like eh, that's a fart in the wind. I don't give a shit and just kept <laughs> looking through more news and I'm pretty sure I saw that. I don't know. I haven't. Maybe maybe it was a, maybe I farted <laughs> and dreamed it. Oh man, oh, yeah. hang on. Uh, some powerful farts. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you, are you ready? Look at this guy. Hey, hey. look who how's it going? Racist with his awesome. presence. Oh, there we go. Do I look or sound any clear by God, chance? He's loud as hell. Yeah, I'm turning your Am I? We're good. Yeah, you're kind of loud. Am I? Oh, shit. Well, that's at least good. How do I look, though? Yeah, the, the, you look the, good. You look beautiful, Joe. Did you cut really? your hair? Thank you. You cut, you cut your hair, didn't you? No, no. It's uh, it's still. Hold on. No, oh, still got it. I was just wondering what the the um. I'm looking. Well, we, well, well, James was uh, fascinated with your hair, so you might want to kind of enunciate the locks. Yeah, yeah. Bit. Bring it out. Uh-huh. Bring it out, Joe. Look at it, James. See, you can take that. You can put it in a ponytail. Whatever you want to do, it's awesome. It's pretty well, sexy. I'll sit there and braid your hair in a step. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now wait. Like, a question. Does it seem like there's any delay or the video quality? No What's delay. it? What? You just sound a little muffled. Though. Muffled? Fuck me. Muffled, okay. Muffled, but it's very well, you loud. are wearing a mask, Joe. He's wearing a mask, yeah. No, but I think <laughs> okay. like it. Wait, it's possible maybe my mic, I didn't click the right settings. Well, just to let you know, um, Jenny got me a new tablet, and when we talk in videos, it looks really clear compared to last time, so I didn't know if maybe oh, okay. it's... Okay, so you already nice. threw away the, you already threw away no, the no, one no, I no, got no, you no. a couple we, years. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, no. So I still, I still use. Listen, Nathan, hold up. I still use yours. And Rebecca and John, I still use your, um, your, um, <laughs> your lap, your laptop. I, I do. But it's like I said. Now when I see Jenny, it's really, really clear. And I was Our like, stuff's I hope not it's not good enough. Any new? You hear that? Our stuff's not good enough anymore. <laughs> no, I just didn't know if it was any clear. Is, is it? Does it seem like it? I'm hoping. It seems like it, it seems for now. Good. It seems yeah. really good. Okay. Did you hear what Nathan said? For now, like, no, damn no. it. J- Okay. All right. I apologize for the delay. I had some stuff I was doing and I forgot it was five. I blame James because I swear to God, James said he was on for normal time. And <laughs> normal it's all James your fault, James. time, Joe. Normal James time, not our uh, normal time. It was actually my secret ploy to take over this podcast. I was like, yeah, Joe, we're in the normal time. <laughs> I apologize. I, I am sorry. But um, yeah, I'm here. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. So, uh, what's, what's going on? on? I, like, I like how he's just like, oh, what did I mean? I got my, my old metal chair back. I, I just, I did it real quick. I almost thought I lost. Oh, shit. You guys didn't see nothing, did you? Man. We <laughs> saw it. We saw it, Joe. We saw it. We all oh, saw it. Oh, shit. Did you? Oh, a tiny little bit. Joe, you've got, you've got two noses. <laughs> oh my god, now I'm going to freak. Oh, god damn it. I know what Grimbot's going to do. He's going to rewind it. Oh, when no, I say no, rewind, like it's enough. a. Uh, it'd be like, uh, it'd be like, I'm just like giving this, him ideas, Joe. You should like, just kind of roll like, with yeah. it. You just we saw your lips. We, we just fine. saw like your, yeah, your, your four nostrils and your fat. So now, right. now, now it's going to be like, um, Bacha Son of a bitch. It. The JFK back and to the left, left. Back, back to the left. Yeah. To the left. Well, admittedly, everybody has seen my mouth before when I was eating, and even part of my nose. So as long as my eyes didn't show, I'm good. But I mean, that's right. the hideous part, right? Your eyes. That is that, <laughs> pretty much. I'm in par- paranoid mode, so I'm, I'm sorry. What else is so, there? So, yeah, I, how's I, everybody I'm doing? Curious, like when when Jenny sees your face for the first time, do you warn her about anything? Like th- th- this may cause swelling. Like if you when you don't don't, don't look directly at my left eye, you know. Uh, I was, it was awkward when I first did it. I was like, I when I first unmasked for, I was wearing sunglasses and I was like, I was I was just nervous as shit. And then I the next time I took off my sunglasses, she's like, "Why are you hiding your face? Why'd you wait, hide wait, your wait, face? Wait, I don't wait, get wait. it." You did it in stages with her? Yes, I did. I'm an idiot. I was nervous. What I was boy. nervous. <laughs> I know. I was, but she uh, she was like, I don't know why you had to do that. You didn't have to cover your eyes, and you shouldn't have did that. So, uh, yeah, I was nervous the first time. I showed my face. Look did at James. Like, did you fart in front of her, too? Like... <laughs> no, none of that. None of that. <laughs> did you have, like, sweaty palms? Were you doing this a lot? Like, 
uh, I was though, I was fidgety though, like you know how I usually like, move, but I was like, real like fidgety. Like 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 he had to like you know was, move around. Was like, playing? You know. Yes, yes, I did. I actually did move. What the hell is that? Since you're doing it in stages. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Stripping. Is she, is she like depositing money into an account for you to get more? No. What is that? What's that code that popped it's up? Am I I don't know. It's just a YouTube video, Joe. Yeah, it's it's stripping it's music. music. Oh, okay. Journey, the, you just listen to the music. <laughs> see, see, Joe would even ruin a good time like that. Like he, Joe would ruin a strip. <laughs> like, My brain God, is not functioning. Man. I got paranoid for a second, but I, I'm all good now. There. I, Let me try I, to lean back. I've already. There we go. Well, since you've uh, basically come in, Joe, and hijacked, ruined it. everything. So. Yeah. Um, <sighs> For for those of you at home that don't want to go back and rewind this shit, there you go. Oh shit! My wow. nose in my mouth. It, it, it's like a Bigfoot image. It's all <laughs> God damn, Deucin! Yeah. Well, everybody seen. Have you seen this man? <laughs> well, everybody has seen oh, my mouth man, and nose. That should be on a t-shirt. Yeah. Oh man! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's wicked. God. Thank God my eye was what covered do you think, though. James? <laughs> That's fucking awesome! I knew this shit was <laughs> any, it, he, Joe, Joe's obviously cool. At any other time, he'd have been like, ready to like blow his brains out. So Nathan, we got to stop the podcast. We, we can't. No, have no, that's fine. It's like because I know I've shown that before. So thank God it was. Not, if I would have had an eye or anything, I would have lost my shit because there'd been like my whole face. That. Like you're, you're comfortable with showing any other part, but your eye is the most uncomfortable part of your body. Like, yeah. See, for a while, I'm like, is, is, is he just got like a lazy eye or something? You know? Is it like Shawn Michaels lazy eye was like, yeah. you know, you know. <laughs> no, perfectly fine. I like that image of like put it in a fucking t shirt, like it's a Bigfoot sighting. What yeah. are you saying? <laughs> yeah, it'll appear on all those like top 10 footage released this week. Right. Like bullshit, you know, like camera shows. Like we're, we're looking for the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the endangered Amato. I think we saw him, you know, you know, sightings, you know. This time there, that time there, they don't find anything. But tune in next week. We're, we talk to somebody who does a podcast with them. They think they think. Oh, we're oh shit! Yeah. All right, all right. Well, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm all set. set. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, whenever. Well, Joe, you missed a good time. I guess you'll have to go back. I'm and watch sorry. It. I am sorry. I was doing stuff with the uh, fences and with, shit. With, with and, his uh, penis. He's just doing stuff with his penis. Don't worry about it. Yeah. No. So I'm I'm okay. I'm good. I'm all good though. Everything's good. Good to see you, James. By the way. You too, sir. Yeah. 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 You sound enthusiastic. He's like, yeah, really. Fuck off, Joe. We can just get off the show. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm still kind of um, like thrown by the image of your lips. I was like, I can't tell if it's blurred or you've got really like. Very... What well, you know? What we should. Yeah, no, his, his lips are very. Joe, you know yeah, what you need. Well. You know what you need to do now, Joe. When we're done with the show, you need to just. <laughs> Take it so so James can see your face. No, 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 no I don't. I can't do that. that. Why? Yeah, yeah. James is a guy. Oh. <laughs> no, but James <laughs> likes the mystique and mystery of it too. I can't. I no, can't no. do that. How do you know that? How do you know this? Is the guy who found it every mystery. <laughs> what do you think, James? Hero possible. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I like <clears throat> I like the mystery. I like to uh, when I'm by myself in, uh, in the dark. <laughs> I like <laughs> I like to imagine certain things. <laughs> Yeah. Like that fake dick. <laughs> that's, that's, some great that's pretty good. Shit James is doing there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, shit. No, that's, that's, that's a, I, was, I was actually giving an ass just then when we were talking the whole mask. Like thing. James like, the Ripper over there. <laughs> James the Ripper. Uh, that's just because I break wind. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do you think? Oh, do, he, he falls when he's getting ready to hit on his victim. You know, that's. that's <laughs> yeah. Okay, serious question. Like to Joe, do you think yeah. you will ever, like, demask it and you like not as it like an event but just like oh hi i'm because i always thought the, the best thing you could have done it maybe you have and we don't know i always thought the best thing you could have done was go to like a he-man or shiri convention a power con what have you turn up yeah, and just walk around and nobody yeah. knows and i, I thought that, that would be like the best thing ever and then but you've got photos and it's like joe took those photos but who was it and i thought that's almost <laughs> like a, a fucking film but do you think there'll ever come a time like legitimately when you'll ever just go Ah, fuck it, and just be like, "Hi, I'm Joe. This is what I look like." Do you think you'll? You know, um, you? actually, the possibility is, uh, when the podcast, the day the podcast would be over. 
Wow. Like if if we went for another 10 years or something, we were like, okay, you know, we're retiring. That's the end of the podcast. And we're doing the island commentary and Joe shows his face. So. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And the shittiest <laughs> fucking thing in history. It's like, here, here we go. No. That would be the one. Yeah, I could see it then. But until then, now nah, just do the little. Oh, hell no. Just Even that, he, would, he wouldn't show his face. There's no way. <laughs> we do a Star Child commentary with James. We do an island commentary. We are talking about the end of days. And Joe's like, eh, nah. <laughs> I'd probably have to wait or something till like once it's over. It's like okay, now you can go to my Facebook oh, we page. To, we have to and, trick him. Like Nathan wouldn't tell Joe we're still recording, and then Joe takes it off, and they're like, "Hey, we're live." Buddy. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, would, that would be me. And then Joe that has a complete terrible. meltdown live in front of everybody. You know, <laughs> but what an epic finale that would be, though. You know, <laughs> well, that would. I, I was like wondered if if at some point, like, I, I, no, I don't. I, don't, I was going to say I put something. I was going to say like, I wonder if at any point when you first joined Facebook, you upload a photo of just Joe. There was I, I, all I did. Obviously, if they, yeah, you deleted it years ago. But I was like, I wonder if like he'd ever did that, and I was just like too late to the game to be like, there he is, you know. I did when I um, I think it was Matthew Humble. He's he's a an artist that was doing a lot of things that he'd seen. He would like paint images not only on canvas but on T-shirts, and he did a meteor shirt for me. And right. I wore that shirt, and I was just sitting there. I think I had just a hat, and I was like pointing at the oh, mirror wow. with my. With my old man camera that I had off to the side, yeah. so I get a good picture. And oh, nice then, selfie, I, like, yeah, yeah, that's how I did my selfies, like flicking off to the side <laughs> of the mirror. And I think I had that up for maybe two weeks, and I got rid of it. So I don't know if anybody ever saved the image, seen the image, or yeah, sorry, the guy, yeah, he used to do. I don't know if he still he used to do the painted shirts. I forgot yeah. all about that dude. Yeah, is he still yeah. around? He is. Um, why do I think that he's? I don't know if he's. Engaged or with Alessandro Fucarino? That's what I was just about to say. Is he the guy that? Yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah. yeah. That's really strange. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't about seen him do. Some... Yeah, it's been a while, but he would do those those pictures. Um, he also did them on canvas because I have yeah. the one where he did sky high. I think he, I can't remember if he did a meteor too. And then I have the ultimate battleground image that he has on a big one in back of my uh, Turnia playset. Oh wow! Yeah. A bit, a, little bit, yeah, sorry, I, a bit, bit of an older social media history there. Yeah, I remember. I remember that guy like doing his paintings. Then, then I remember hearing, yeah, he'd um, got together with um, Alessandra. Yeah, it's just like, oh wow. Yeah, but it's been a while. Admittedly, yeah, it's been a while since I heard from yeah. him. So I don't know if he still does the stuff or if he just uh, moved on to doing but, other things. Yeah, that's um, sorry. Yeah, just so there was a time when you were unmasked for the world yeah. to see. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Sorry, I'm just I'm really fast. Sorry, but I'm like, you, you're all like, oh, we've all seen his face, but I'm like, oh, it's still, it's still a, a curiosity to me, and I kind of like that. Yeah, like I say, I like that. <laughs> Look at, what are you? What are you doing, Nathan? Why are you what? doing this? Like, you have this like a sarcastic smile. I thought you were setting something up and was going to put something up on the screen <laughs> no. or something. No, I'm just I, I'm just over here thinking. <laughs> what you thinking? Um... <laughs> <laughs> what is thinking that? deep. He just looks like he's devious, like he's up to something. No, he looks no, like you're just, you're just, I, you're just I'm paranoid, Joe. Yeah, you you're just paranoid because yeah. yeah, half your face was shown, and now you're freaking out. No, really, nothing. I'm I'm just like paying attention to everything. Is all. Oh, okay. Um, he's running the show. Not everything is about you, Joe. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right, damn it. I try to make it. <laughs> is, check, check your is that the mic on there? Check that. Yeah. Like, move. yeah. Okay. What do I um? What's no, the I, setting? I, no, I think you're good. I think it, you just need to take that mic away a little more so you don't sound as muffled. Okay, hold yeah. on. Let me just pop it off my shirt. Careful. Okay. How does it sound now? That's better. Yeah. You don't, That's better. You don't sound it, like it you're was, being. It's just loud. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad this is working though, and there's no uh. Fucking problems and some uh, yeah, you delays. Don't, you don't have like a, you don't have like a real video kind of broadcast. Like, hey everybody, how are you? It, ex it, right, right. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah. I appreciate it. And, yeah, and Nathan, uh, I still. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have that in the borders. Like next week, make sure we put that like as like part of the borders, something like that. Like that way, anyone I who I missed it. To the point where I thought he was actually unmasking. I was just like, yeah. oh my god. I mean, yeah, I, I could, I could shrink this down and make it an overlay and just have it in the corner. Just like flash yeah. it every once in a while. Yeah. It's just yeah. like, like Fight Club, when you see yeah, Tyler yeah. Erden, like seven yeah. times before. And like just, big fat lips. Let's see how quick I can do it. 
Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be great. That's something a good, like a good thing to do from now on. Just like fuck with people, like yeah. you know, every week. Oh, yeah. you don't know when it's gonna come, but like uh, Joe's <laughs> lips flash on the screen real quick. Oh my god! <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> the whole one. Oh, that's classic. I got money though from wearing that, so that was great. Oh, we we, we shared. Yeah, we, we talked about that. That's why it's there. We oh, did you? Up. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> I guess that piece was scared the shit out of me. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> God damn. Oh God! All right, I'm good. All right. I'm all good. Now. All right, James. How do you? We'll, we'll pass it to you and let you start this off because you were gracious enough to send me all of this stuff, which is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, should we blow? Can you blow it up a little bit more? I uh, the only thing I can do with this really oh, no, is just kind of zoom in yeah, a little bit. I think yeah. as long as you get like the nine panels in, I think we're good. Yeah. Like, so anyone who's seen the shaping staff, Tyler, I've a feeling you may have seen it once or twice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, I was just going to say, like, um, I don't know, memories of the episode or just going through it page by page and going like, oh, look at this drawing. So, yeah, this was done by, was it, that's the top, was it Rich Chidlaw was the artist? Or Kevin Harkey, I forget. Oh, Rich Chidlaw. So the storyboard artist is, yeah, you've got Lou Kachibus, who's the director. Nice big circle. The next how do you pronounce, uh, uh, how do you, I've always wondered how you pronounce his last name. Oh, well, I, I mean, <laughs> being from the UK, I've got a habit of mispronouncing everyone, I can't say mispronouncing, everyone's name. So I, I've always called it, uh, called him Lou Kachibus, but you could probably talk to Tom Sita and he'd be like, oh no, it was Lou Kachibus. Kachavis is what I, I, I Kachavis, guess. yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, that's always... that's kind of what I always thought it was. But yeah, I've, I've always just, you know, I phonetically pronounce any name. Like for the longest time, I think I've said before, I always used to call him Tom, Tom Tatar Renowit. No, Tom. You said that in your more recent video that you Yeah, did. in my video. Yeah, yeah Tom. Yeah. Tat I, I couldn't. And then it's just like, oh, it's Tom. And then I thought it was Tom Tataranowitz. And then after like 10 years of knowing, it's like, oh, it's Tom Tataranowitz. So it's just, yeah, these blooming names, you know. Just give me two syllables or one syllable. Smith, easy. Um, but yeah, this was uh, like this is the the final storyboard. Um, I say final because there's still deleted scenes in here and shots from uh, the shaping staff, which is the second episode in terms of production, but was done in the it was like one of the earliest episodes of the second batch of season one. One of the first episodes to use the rainbow filmation logo. There you go. There you go. I'm full of knowledge. <clears throat> useless knowledge but um yeah just keep scrolling down that mm -hmm. so we go. yes there's so many like weird things on these things that after all these years i'm still not sure what they are it's like yeah, yeah it's, uh, uh, well it's just interesting because you, you see things i don't know where joe just went oh joe we've lost joe again <laughs> uh oh, you, no. you see well it's just like hal's first notes and uh mike for i'm assuming that's number check yeah there's um so yeah then you get oh I, I swear to God, I was worried that Joe was going to disappear and then show up behind me like a <laughs> candy man. Just, oh, just a, mis a mistake. I thought I was just in. I thought I was doing something with the volume and I accidentally clicked oh, the back oh, okay. button. Oh, so you fucked it up yourself. Good. But I'm all good. I'm all good. I won't all right. touch nothing no more. All right. Yeah. Yeah, if I say Joe's name three times, he just appears behind me. And he's like, if people don't see my face, they never survive the night. So James, oh yeah, we'll see his face. yeah, yeah it, would, it would be like, um, it would be like the fucking ring. It's like once you've seen this image, <laughs> seven days, you're dead. That image catches me every time. It's just uh, wow. <clears throat> so yeah, so basically, um, what you're looking at here is almost like um. What do they call it? like a, a route? Uh, a, as Americans would say a routing sheet. So you see, you can you know t t tick them off as it goes. It's gone to this person, it's gone to that person. Yeah. There's a few. Uh, you know, we were talking about box ticking earlier. Some boxes haven't been ticked there. Uh -huh. So yeah, um, yeah. And, like the thing I've never understood about animation is something that directors understand is like they measure episodes in <laughs> in terms of uh, the the length of film by feet. So they will talk about feet like this is the amount of feet in film. And I'm like, I still don't get it after all these years. So I'm like, yeah, cool, man. Look at all those Back feet. to Hal. Is that Hal Sutherland? I, I'm yeah, Hal Sutherland. Because yeah. obviously he was the, um, he was the supervisor director yeah. of the series. So, um, yeah, it's, but it's, it is fascinating because you get to see, you know, all the dates and stuff. Maybe some of someone like me, it's fascinating. You go, oh, wow, you know, that's the episode aired around here. So this was the production. And yeah, you just go through it. And 
usually when you get a story board that starts off with like just the title card as it does there, which is quite a, a, a dull one, it usually means that they probably, yeah, if you look, if you scroll up a little bit so I can see the top of that story board a little bit more. Oh god, I'm looking at it on my phone. It's so tiny. So I'm also looking at it on my screen, which has got about a four second I, delay. I can, I can zoom in like that too, if that helps. Okay, yeah. So, oh no, it's actually yeah, no, it's, it's scene one. Because sometimes with a lot of storyboards, there'll be it will start at scene seven, and it's because like through each draft, they've like gone, oh, this is how we're going to open the episode. And then they go, actually, strip all that. We'll just start from this shot. And this opening of the shaping stuff is always like I always thought it was unique because there's no exposition it's just a close-up of he-man looking at the sky so well that's you know that's going to get you into an episode and he's fighting the um, the training robot which is clearly a hover robot a robot well, knight a robot knight we like to think that man man of arms has repurposed it for yes. uh, training purposes i mean it's, it's a really good callback actually you know they, I, I can't remember what the script says but it just says robot in the storyboard so i'm guessing and at the bottom on that those three panels there it says time fast and it's like yeah it's pretty fast but uh, yeah, just keep just keep scrolling. We'll, we'll go as we do. All right. And if anyone has any storyboard questions, you know, as they say, as you guys say, put them in the chat, and we'll uh, we'll address them at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> um, and when you get the big lines through it, that's that means that those panels were illustrated. But then it's just like, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna use those shots. So you know, sometimes it could be a pointless, or it could be that the artist themselves made an error. But nine times out of ten, it's usually like missing scenes. I've got the original storyboard for Prince Adam No More. And there's three pages during the end of the episode that are just papered over with those things and they're stuck. But if I was to unpeel them, I can see if I hold them up to the light, it's the scene where a deleted scene where Beastman is trying to run down He-Man in the basher using this giant energy oh. roller thing. Yeah, I know. And it's one of those things it's like, do I forever soil the storyboard? I'm not going to shit on it, but do I forever soil the storyboard by separating the pages kind of thing and see what's under there i, I don't know like oh, you come on the podcast just... and do it so so on here <laughs> just just me crying yeah <laughs> like, that'd be great oh, <laughs> um but yeah like really nice storyboards very energetic from uh rich chidlow rich chidlow is like one of the uh really cool artists on because on, some storyboard artists are very kind of you know very basic but he was his war was quite expressive and energetic as you say but then you get shots like this with the he-man which just they xerox the layout so it's just it's not even an artist style it's just they've gone to a folder and gone yeah i just want to use that stock of he-man's head turn so just slap it there and there you go no scene 21 what was scene 21 we'll never know and yeah and then we cut to i think we just, yeah, just keep, i, I do like how you start to get bits of the dialogue there on yeah. The yeah i mean the dialogue is peppered throughout like you you they they have to do with the story but they were literally they would literally just have the script next to them and they're cutting it yeah. pasting it down yeah. cutting it yeah because you can see down. like the lines right here yeah where around the, the thing yeah. yeah 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 for that bit yeah definitely um this this beautiful establishing shot of the royal palace was that's from a, that's bob a klein. beautiful like, like i mean that's, like storyboard of that's that. bob klein and he did that for um like so that was the first establishing shot they did for diamond ray of disappearance so bob klein did a lot of the expositional work for diamond ray so you get like his pan of Snake Mountain, his pan of um, of the Royal Palace. So this Royal Palace shot would be used a lot. But du Dushan was the one that pointed out to me, the design of the Royal Palace, the actual structure on the right-hand side is from, um, I think it's, oh, Ming's Palace in the Flash Golden series. So if oh, you don't look at that, I, I see it. it. I, I, yeah, you, I recognize that now. Yeah, yeah Dushan was the one who was like, you realize he's illustrated Ming's Palace. And I was like, oh my goodness, yes, he has. Holy That's hell. why it looks well, nothing like the Royal Palace. I don't. I don't suppose the uh, the, the German uh, uh, Blu-rays include that, do they? <laughs> what <Yeah>. magic? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just make it make make it appear there. Make it happen. The they, they include yeah. the impossible. Yeah. But um, yeah, and so so you, so you get those visual again. Like when there was a good panel like that, the artist would just go right. Just it was so much xeroxing was done in the filmation storyboard, so they would just xerox that from one storyboard and plop it down to their own. And um, yeah, and this, this is the Orko doing his um, magic trick. Which magic trick is this? This isn't demon dust. Oh no! Oh, so this is this scene present? Oh yeah, this is the bit with the the, the little. Um, he's got a magic wand. I thought there was there were flowers popping out the top. But that's um, the smoke, and it yeah. plumes off in the space. And then Man at Arms does that little exchange with Teela, and then Orko loses his temper. It's like really nice little emotions in here, which they actually yeah. did manage to transfer to the episode because sometimes. The artist would just draw Orko quite basic, but here he's like hands on hips and you know, and like even like with Orko where he's pointing, like doing his hand like 
oh, watch this kind of thing, where he loses his temper. And he does his little egg trick, and then Randor and Marlene are nodding their head in, a, in a approval there. And the egg, egg slowly going over Cringer's head. And then this is what this is the scene. I, I can't remember this storyboard, but I'll be interested because the scene in the episode is really stupid. Like Adam runs and he's running and it's like a panning shot. And he just he just runs into a um yeah, it's pretty much there. He runs just into like a what is it, like a, a like brazier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't know what, what you call it. Yeah, he just runs into that in the episode. Yeah. It's just like, well, that's bizarre. And then yeah, Matt Arms does his bravo. And again, you can see photocopied uh, panels there at Orco. But yeah, these 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 panels are really nice where he's like got Adam sitting down. Just that look swimming. of anger on King Randor's face there is pretty, yeah. pretty prominent. You son of a bitch, Adam. Like, father? <laughs> that's how it goes, isn't it? I'm sure it was in the episode. <laughs> yeah, that's why Marlene is looking at him funny. Yeah. So yeah, Orco's doing his little uh, a demon dust and he's going to summon um, a demon from another dimension. It turns out he's someone you want to see uh, at dinner time. <laughs> what's, that, sorry, what's that? Sorry, hang on a second. Stop. Oh, scroll down. I said, What's the panel? Oh, that's Adam. He's like, Look, the spell is working. But I just like the way they've added the blank, like the, the shock on all their faces. I, I don't remember that being, I think it's just quite a stock shot in the actual episode. Yeah, it's not like they're showing a lot of emotion during No, the no. Cringer does that thing. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, just to explain for people that have never seen a storyboard before, um, when you do a panning shot, you illustrate it. Uh, horizontally because that's how a pan works the, the, because yeah a, a, a camera doesn't technically when you see Prince Adam holding up the sword and the camera pans to it it's technically panning along a piece of animation art because panning shots are always horizontal so the camera is rotated and goes like that so here the camera is like going up like that otherwise yeah, it would be a bit of a bit of a mess so yeah Majestra appears with her pixie cut which I think was described in the actual um, script it's a slightly different cut here. But yeah, Orko doing a little bow and, um, and Prince Adam. Obviously, everyone's taken with Majestra. How Actually, does that's this, a, how does this a, episode rank for everybody here on the show? Like, is, is this one that... It's an average episode to me. It's not bad, but I would not put it like in a top 10. It's, it's, I told Nathan, I said, one of the things that I love about it, and James has mentioned this before on... Or, or or something. It, it, episodes that take place at night, I always find to be something like a Saturday night episode. Like this, I I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but I, this episode takes place at night, pretty much for the for the most part. And I, yeah. I like episodes that do much like disappearing, uh, not disappearing dragon, but uh, d the dragon invasion is one. Ran the monsters and another. Yeah. I don't like yeah, I don't like that episode, but it takes place at night. I love it, Mulcrum. Oh, I love Mulcrum. I we we gonna do one on that, James? We gotta do one with that. <laughs> <sighs> the storyboards for that are really nice because it's Don Manuel and the storyboards for I've got the original storyboard for Reign of the Monster and it's gorgeous. It's so lovely. Oh, like, does does Malcolm look that? better in that? What's that? Tyler? Does Malcolm look better in the storyboards? He actually does because he oh. looks more muscular and more. He's got he's got more hair than Joe coming out the back. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like want the hair. That blonde wig on his head looks ridiculous. I like it. I like no, it. It, it works. looks pretty badass. You can see in the storyboards what I mean. Don Manuel, I think, in the storyboards was working from a model shape, but he still made it look really good because he also yeah. gave like he gave him a very powerful horse body and almost like a, I think like hair above the hoof. So it's almost like, yeah, it's really cool. Oh, look. Well, all right, it's all right, cool all right, to see. I have to see that. Yes. I would like to yeah, see, I'll see that. If, yeah. I mean, it might be in a certain book. Uh, I think he meant a she Well, like I said, certain book right over here. Why does the hell? Yeah, I it might look be at a certain book. <laughs> so yeah, the, uh, the story, I was going to say to Rebecca, like Majestra might be a good cosplay for you. I think you could pull it off. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah I mean, I think no it's, it's a, Fairly like straightforward costume, but yeah, like, it wouldn't require easy. much detailing. But there's no well, if you, if you, really you made a, a shaping staff, that would be like that oh, would wow. be a cool I prop. Like they always have that, like you know, behind her at all times. Like that'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be badass. That'd be fucking cool. Or turn your closet back there into the, like the 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 the, the box. Oh, yeah, the, 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 yeah. the people yeah. going to and vanish. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool too. So yeah, I Randall here enters the. Um, Randall here enters the uh, the the box of mysteries, whatever it's called. But that's I love that. Show. I think I included that in the book. The the shot of Adam and uh, Marlena looking like shocked, 
Mm -hmm. it's, it's a shame because again you see it in the episode it's quite they're basic they're quite stock faces so they don't look as shocked as they probably should and his face almost looks like mine when i knock my mask up yeah. <laughs> it's the same mouth expression and everything it was pretty damp <laughs> Yeah, it's that mouth. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! Right. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> but yeah, one, one thing about storyboards sometimes you find is like some artists play well within the, the the style, whereas others, you know, there's there's one artist like Barry Caldwell was a fantastic. He was he went on to work on Tiny Toons, which tells you the style of illustration he had. His He-Man storyboards are so funny because. They're almost overly emotive and cute. Like his Prince Adam and his He-Man are adorable, but they're also ridiculous. Um, so some storyboard artists would just be like, oh, I'm going to play within the filmation style. And others were just like, ah, screw it. Let's see what happens when I do it like this and what it becomes. So, yeah, it's, it's really, it's, each storyboard, I always find like a really fascinating breakdown of the episode. Um yeah, I mean, you know, you said, look at uh, hey James, real quick. Look at Marlena yeah. where she's drinking on the one in the middle. She looks almost like she's a little tipsy and drunk. Yeah, she's like, What's up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does have that look. She oh, reacts with she... puzzlement. And it should say doesn't. drunkenness. Drunkenness. She yes. yes. She's like, so, yeah, oh, Randor, you know, I'm uh, I'm kind of having some <laughs> funny feelings right now. You want to <laughs> excuse this ourselves is, um, from dinner? This is uh, King Randall is now as Be oh, Beastman is now King Randall, I should say. Spoilers, been... James. Come on. Shit. You know, I forgot. I'm spoiling an episode that's 39 years. And no one's going to buy the Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. The other thing as well sometimes with storyboards, what you would do is like a storyboard artist would finish their work, hand it in, and maybe go and work on like a Fat Albert show or something else. Or even like leave the company work somewhere else and then another artist would come in and do a uh, clean up or, or paste over like the, the one of the most infamous ones and he's admitted himself robert lamb did um, house of shikoti part two the storyboard for that is just crazy there's like about six different artists working on it so you just get this constant change of of styles and stuff there's some really nice um panels coming up like with uh, the king uh, the majestra reveal yeah, the, sh the shadow work like, yeah, here where, in yeah, the last like three they panels this page. God, it looks awesome. Yeah, <laughs> because they do. They like that's one of those things where the script probably says, you know, they they are revealed as evil in a base man, but then the the storyboard artist puts that work in, and then the director or layout artist goes, oh, let's actually make that really kind of a uh, striking scene. So yeah, and that and because um, I always yeah, like Evil Lynn's facial expressions when the, when that's I mean, it's the ridiculous reveal. there. That one on the top left, yeah, right? she looks like and she looks like the Joker. Yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, got you nickel back, man. It's like what the fuck is that? So yeah, now <laughs> King Mark, Randall Mark gets Campbell turned. Mark Campbell doing Evil Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> so God, King Randall gets turned into a goat because that's the way it is. Evelyn does a little stop laugh there, but then you've got well, these a lot of missing stuff there. Jesus, yeah, that's so yeah. it's like you know, I, 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 I don't have the original. I mean, it might say in the script, I don't know, I'd have to look at the script, but there's a lot missing there. And you think that's not an artist making a mistake, that's like some visuals or something being removed. Hmm. So, yeah, Beastman charges, misses, bangs his head, um, Evelyn waves her wand, bling bling, and Orko. He comes a cricket. He hops around like a blasted cricket. Cricket. Then a cricket. He shall be. Blim, blim. He comes cricket. Wipe. That, that's not advice for anybody reading that. That's just a screen wipe. It's well, I mean, like, oh, Joe, boy, Joe doesn't do it anyway, so you don't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, natural. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I um, do like this shot, like uh, of her waving the shaping stuff and then Skeletor's face just appears. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, a cool, it's a cool shot. It's probably one of the most famous shots of Skeletor. My laughing head. So he's laughing away, ha, 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 and then vanishes, boop, wipe again. It's like, oh, did I really not get that this time? <laughs> so, yeah, oh, oh, they're looking at the map, but if you look, go, um, yeah, it doesn't, where does, where's it supposed to say Grace go? Oh, keep going, actually. I think it's, wonder what it says on the actual panel. Because in the episode, you see the shot of Grace and it's spelled, oh, they just didn't, they didn't write the name Grace Girl there. It's just a picture of a castle on the top left. Because obviously this is the episode. How many where times they... did they spell it with an E in the show, James? You only say it that Would one. You... Only that one time in the episode where you see it as an E, and it's like, oh, that's a mistake. Okay. Yeah. But, um, okay. I mean, yeah, just a just an interesting mistake. Yeah. Should have corrected that for the Blu-rays. <laughs> that would have been, yeah, yeah. been, been nice. Make it right, exactly. Actually, do, Shan, if you're watching this, 
Grab, <laughs> grab for that shot. Make it an A and post it on Fans of Power so we can all see what it should look like. Yes. I'm making work for him while he's not even like... Yeah, That's like, a pet peeve. I hate that fucking E. I hate that E. But go ahead. Yeah, it's, it is. Well, because the E always gets used. As, so it's supposed to be an E and it's like, no, it's just a, a mistake. It's just a mistake. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Evil Inn and Beast Man exit the meeting and there's a lot of uh, missing stuff. More there. missing mm. scenes. Fascinating. And then, yeah, end of Act 1. da da <clears throat> now we go to act two. Damn, four missing. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Oh, Prince Adam here. They've drawn, they've, palace. they've drawn Prince Adam just like in his normal clothes in bed, which is quite weird to say. Yeah. So obviously, he, he, yeah. the episode he has his, that uh, established his PJs yet. His dashing nightgown, as it were. That's cringe. I know there's a deleted scene coming up shortly, which I sent Nathan. You'll see it in a second. So cringe e e enters the shot here. And then if you look at the to there here, you see Beastman and Evil Lynn stood outside his room. You don't see that in the episode. But Nathan, if you check your files, yeah. I think I sent you one a, a cell of the deleted shot. Oh, if I can find what did I call it? I might have called it something clever like deleted cell. Yeah, there should be a deleted cell dot tiff. So that's that shot, but it was never in the episode. Yep. So if you watch the shaping staff, Cringer enters yeah. the room. And then it just cuts to Adam back to sleep. But in in originally they were going to have this shot of um, uh, Evil in the Beastman stood outside the door, plotting because they is bad guys. There we go. There you oh, go. So yeah. Oh, nice. yeah so, so that nice. was that was never in the episode, but there they are stood outside, looking all like. That'd be a we're good gonna... pose on the uh, shirt, Joe. If you if you fill in her arm there. <laughs> that would be well. I don't know. Well, okay, okay. Wow. <laughs> Well, it's like, I, like, I, like I can draw. I don't know why I'm asking you. I can draw. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, That's, there you go. I felt like a power shift then. Rebecca's like, I can draw. <laughs> what, <laughs> Joe? <laughs> it's like, whoa. Uh, um, so yeah, that was that was one of the deleted shots, and yeah, and then uh, Orko comes in, bling, jumps on the thing, and Prince Adam's still in his pink shirt, but he shouldn't be. Orko. The king is a fake. It's Beast Man with Evil Lynn. Please help. I'm doing this all from memory because I just remember. So. Um, or reading the script. Oh no, it's like, if he's a fake, where's my father? In the dungeon. There you go. All right, and Tyler, now you do the next line. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm, letting, I'm letting James do this one here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is interesting. So here's another deleted shot, which I don't own a cell for. So you see Prince Adam there just randomly holding the sword of power. In the episode, they cut, they cut from... You see Cringer walk past the camera. Adam's not in shot. So they cut from... Because they don't want to show Adam changing clothes because they don't... They're not going to animate that. In here, Adam's just already in his pink, you know, pink shirt. He's about to transform into He-Man. Why does it show... No, it's camera. So that Adam's... Oh, so they're, they're saying he's supposed to be in night clothes. So in the episode, we see this shot of Cringer walk past the camera, as indicated here, but no Prince Adam. And on this thing where you see Adam holding up the sword, it says, note to camera, um, frame the shot so that Adam's night clothes don't show. So in other words, show him from about here so you don't see that he's wearing his pink shirt. It's, it's really, it's like, a you know, they're, they're, they're cutting corners there. Whereas in the episode, Lou Kachibus decides, we'll go from the cringer shot, crossfade, to Adam getting ready to uh, withdraw the sword, which is a, a great moment in the series. I love that shot. So he does, does his transformation sequence. I think this is all, again, that's from Bob, Bob Klein. I like that illustration. Yeah, I like that know, one too. Gorgeous, yeah. Board. yeah, that's cool. Man, man, Looks like me. No, oh, God. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, and if you I like this Cringer shot, or the Battle Cat shot too. Yeah, oh, yeah, that, that middle one's he, badass. Yeah. It says, and really I have cool. the power too. That's all scrolled yep. out. So like, he doesn't say that anymore. I love how that made it oh, in yeah. it, at some point during pre production. Oh, like, it was oh, so late in production. Yeah. I mean, like, the fact yeah. they animated it is, is tells you how far that got into production. James, what are your was... thoughts if, if that line actually stayed in? Do you oh, think I, that would have been as. I don't I think we would have, like, as kids, accepted it. But but yeah. now as an adult I'd be like oh that's horrendous like yeah. I have the power is great and then a giant green tiger roaring is an epic conclusion to that saying you didn't want him to be like and I have the power too and you're like yeah you right. do let's go you know it's just mm. no thanks yeah okay so yeah now about uh, Beastman and Evil in enter Evil in and Beastman so yeah oh and this I think there's a shot coming up here that's deleted so she zaps He Man yeah and then. Yeah, if you watch the episode, 
Beastman suddenly uh, in the final, like Evil End says, Beastman, help me. Beastman like walks towards camera. You see Battle Cat roar, and then Beastman just does this take, and it's really abrupt. But here you see Beastman, uh, Battle Cat, it was supposed to almost like, what's it say? Ba uh, Beastman's foot enters a shot, and Battle Cat's supposed to be like stood in the background, like kind of growling. So, oh, and even paws at him here as well. That's all, that's not in the episode. So he's like, oh, I'm going to take a swipe yeah. at you. you that would have been, been awesome. really cool. Yeah. Yeah, look at his giant paw there, and like Beastman jumps back just as uh, as uh, Paul, Paul swipes, swipes across, yeah, missing narrowly him. missing him. Yeah, see, that would have been really cool. But in the episode, we just get roar, and then Beastman goes, and then it cuts to the shot of that. That was that father. That noise. It came from Adam's room, and then they rush uh, into the other into the other room. Do, 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 and He Man and Evil Lynn dueling in the corridor. Not exactly storyboard work. Looks like he's just uh, waving away a fart there. But I, like, I would have liked to have seen more dueling between the two of them in the series. You know, just the two of them. Much like Skeletor and He-Man fighting. Yeah, definitely. The reason this page is darker, I think it's because because this is a, a photocopy. It, this means this entire page was uh, probably pink or blue, which is, means a revision. So they would do it like they would photocopy it, make the revision on it on a different thing. So people knew when they were making the episode, oh, this is an updated version of that shot. So, yeah. And He-Man is temporarily, 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 Tila and Tila's turned into a little frog. Drop your sword. Yeah. Missing scenes. Missing scenes. Joke, oh, Joker, Joker, Joker again. again. Yeah. <laughs> that shot of He-Man there, the one at the top right, that's um, that's the stock. M M U or stock six is He-Man punching the screen. That's I was going to say, I, I figured that's what it was. That could let yeah. Down. Yeah. That's the layout stock. So it kind of like, oh, I know, you know, I know what's going to happen normally. Do, do, do. on evil things like look king's a goat and all kinds of cricket and he man's like really that's a really angry looking he man there. yeah yeah it's like you Girl bitch is. you son of a <laughs> and then he man is turned into a model sheet look at that Bing. yeah look at that you haven't seen that a million times yeah <laughs> yeah it's like oh man at arms again oh he just oh he just reacts shocked i thought he was going to say like in an episode again. of ghostbusters like, <laughs> <"Dude, he's right." laughs> Uh, so yeah, Teela, Teela the frog. There's a variant Mattel. Make that. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to make my thing seven. bigger real quick. Oh, here you go, uh, Nathan. There's another one. So yeah. the shot of Beastman there holding um, the bag. Mm -hmm. uh, so like after he's That's captured Teela, I, I sent you three um, files: BM01, rough line, and cell. Those those just show like so the it went from the storyboard to layout, but then the next stage was animation. So the first was a rough drawing of Beast Man. Hopefully it shows up because it's in blue line art, which is it's always a bit of a bugger. Oh, so you can kind of see there. So that's Beast Man. It's like he's got the bag in his hand, although it's like he's taking a crafty piss. Um, <laughs> and then the, then the line art. So that's the artist oh, tracing the so rough. Good. And then the cell, the final cell. So yeah, that's that's oh. that process. It's so cool to see the process. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Well, it goes like it goes from script to storyboard. I don't have the layout because the layout would probably be relatively the same. But then you go from yeah rough to pencil to cell. So you see that that gorgeous process. Yeah, it's really nice. It it's is amazing. so cool to like, they did that thing. It, they did yeah. that, thing. and people are always going to go, "Oh, they used a lot of stock footage," and I always say they used far less stock footage than you think. And the fact is. For every shot in the episode, you had to create a folder, you had to create layout artwork, you had to create rough. So there was so much work put into every episode. And it's, I always, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I always laugh at, you know, Formation were a cheap studio. It's like every episode they made was more expensive than any other cartoon in the 80s because every other studio in the 80s sent their work to Japan or Korea or wherever where it was cheaper mm -hmm. to make. Therefore, Filmation were making the most expensive cartoons. Like, question, James. I have a question for you because I don't know about like you know a lot of the modern right. cartoons. And I don't know if you do either, but all the storyboards that we see here, because it looks like there is so much put into this, and they put a lot of detail, some oh, yeah, more yeah. than others in these. Do they do that for like modern cartoons? Go as in-depth, would you say now? Or do you it even depends, know? Or... Like, it depends what the production is. I've seen modern stories boards that are like really beautiful pieces of like r r gorgeous almost like comic strips and stuff and then you get some modern storyboards where it's very loose and i think it just depends on the kind of show and i guess what the the you know the director wants from the because the director is in charge of the storyboards um one of my friends is a d director kind of was a director at dreamworks 
been, has been a director at Disney for a while, uh, Disney Animation Studios. And he, he worked on like a Minnie Mouse uh, animated series a while back. Mm-hmm. And he he always wanted like really gorgeously. In, he actually worked with Bob Klein. He was the the guy that managed to get Bob Klein a, a daytime Emmy award. So that's pretty good. Okay. But um, yeah, he uh, he requested like really detailed boards. And I think it's just it depends on the kind of show. Like some, I guess like some art, some directors will be like, oh, just you know, so long as we get what's going on. But I think other. Yeah, that's why work. I didn't know if they like did some where they're not putting in like the facial details or well, anything. Yeah, I mean, with- if you. Honestly, if I was to show you some He Man stuff, it was like, um, oh my God, what's her name? Um, Vicky Jensen, who went on to direct, I think, the first Shrek movie. Her mm-hmm. He Man storyboards, and she'll admit it herself, are like really basic. Her He Man is like amazingly silly looking. She she actually says in interviews, I, I always made him look like Dudley Do Right. He's got this stupidly big chin and a dimple, and it's like, what is this? But her storyboards <laughs> translated to screen because you know what was going on. Yeah. But um, it all depends. Like uh, Rich Chidlaw, who did this storyboard, was like a, an action adventure artist, so he put more detail into it. Don okay. Manuel, who I said did um, Reign of the Monster, and yeah, House of Cody too. Don Manuel, House of Cody Part One, yeah. just like great storyboards. And it just seems like there's a lot of these parts to the storyboard. I didn't know if they still even like to this day if they do as many parts to a storyboard because it seems like there's so many here. But maybe they do it for oh, all of them, or I don't know if they cut yeah, you know no, like, corners. It, it, yeah, it depends. Like, so I've got I've got storyboards, for example. So this one is, I, I guess, I'm, I can't remember. It's like I'm guessing roughly about seventy or eighty pages. I've, I think the a beastly sideshow is like well over a hundred and something. It wow. just depends on what kind of level they were going into as well in okay. terms of production. Like uh, Rob Lamb, for instance, with um, with Rob Lamb storyboards. If there was like a complicated camera thing, he would do a separate page in the storyboard. So for like the Cosmic Comet. Do you remember there's that shot where Skeletor, Evelyn, and Beastman are holding hands and the camera goes around? That's a cool shot. Too. Mm-hmm. It's really clever because all it is is just using cells in a certain way, but the camera operator fucked up and the the, the background moves in the wrong direction, so it doesn't quite work. I should try and fix that one day, thinking about it, but it doesn't work in quite the right way. But Rob Lamb broke down his storyboard and showed, like, here's how it should work. Like one cell is this, one cell is that, and then you've got the background. He, he indicates how it should work, and unfortunately, it okay. didn't quite work in the episode. But yeah, <laughs> some artists would put more into it. Some artists even did like character suggestions in their storyboards. So yeah, um, there's a okay. lo- lovely shot of Castle Grayskull at night as well. Oh yeah, and this is where we, yeah. we we see a certain um, <clears throat> blue-skinned oh. man for the first time. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, like so here, I forgot this is different. He goes, I will. I will you. I will need Faker, my evil version of He-Man. So he doesn't even make Faker here. So Faker he's already pops established. Out, pop, pop, like pops he... out from behind a rock. Look, look at the uh, Faker. Mm-hmm. So there's Faker, um, and this is the whole thing. He even at this point in the storyboard, he's supposed to be blue. So that's why Skeletal says the line: "In this dim light, she'll think you're He-Man." It was never. <laughs> because you've got glowing eyes, you'll think you're He-Man. It's the I fact like that, that he's supposed to... I will need Faker, my evil version of He-Man. Like, I, yeah, I, just I, like, like that. <laughs> it's like, I'm not. I'm not creating him. Like he's already been. Ste- yeah. like he's already been built or, or created. Yeah, I've got him. Like I've got him just behind that pillar over there. <laughs> hey, James, did they say in these storyboards, <laughs> or do you know why they decided at the last second to say, "Up, oh, we won't have him be blue"? Was that ever said? I'll be honest. Like I just, I'm not being again, not being too harsh on filmation yet. My guess is just it was. If we make him the same and just make his eyes glow, we can cut a lot of costs from this episode because yeah. you've got the fight okay. scene. And yeah, you've got the fight scene. You've got two different. You've got He Man versus He Man, but you know the stock of like He Man doing uh, Faker doing the punch. Um, I think he does a few other moves in it, and it's just like let's just put a glowing eyes overlay on it. It'd be so much easier. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. Mm. Sorceress comes to the window. Oh, I can't. Send... So you, Faker's really in the shadows here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, this is a really weird scene. This obviously doesn't take, in the episode, she's at the window, and she trans, uh, transports in her human body outside the castle. Here, she flies down <laughs> yeah, with her costume, which would have been like a really weird visual. Like, you can see there, she's like, if you look at that first panel on the left, that's the sorceress in human form flying above the camera, which is like such a bizarre visual. Yeah, yeah. See, like, even says there, look, not Zor, <laughs> but, but reference the stock <laughs> right. of Zor flying in. Imagine seeing the sorcerer's like, oh, just flying past the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, she lands. Ta-da! It's like, whoa. 
so yeah the sorceress is outside the castle which obviously creates continuity problems uh, yep later episodes mm -hmm. um and yeah Hopefully another he did great that in, uh, the mystery many faces too where the sorceress shows up at the witch's castle like doesn't she say no that's i'm trying i'm sure there's a line no i think she just does show up outside the witch's castle doesn't she like what's up lads and it's like what where did you come from yeah um so yeah so yeah, now the sorceress is turned into a tree. Mm. That's always creepy as shit. <laughs> God, let's just, give, let's just give Mattel loads of variants. Um, like they need actually, anymore. This... Yeah. Very good, evil. Limb. Rob Davis watching us right now. I love it. I would love to see that <laughs> though. Just a tree in the box. <laughs> it's like sorceress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorceress. yeah. Right. And a mini comic about it. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> I will remain silent. <laughs> 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 so He-Man breaks free of his... Uh, oh, this is an interesting shot. Oh, oh, I like that with Faker standing right next to him. So like, well, oh, yeah, if, you, if awesome. you remember, this shot in the episode is so cropped that you only see the top of Beast Man's face. But I remember, and I must have it on my computer somewhere, someone was selling at some point the full cell of that, so you see all four characters. Oh, no shit. Like, yeah, I don't know where it is, but in the episode, it's just cropped, so you barely see... You see, I think you see the bottom of Beast Man's mouth, and he's going like, Rrr. it's just like, okay, man. Um, but yeah, also, this is a weird little antic where Faker behind Skeletor kind of ducks out of shot, and then the next minute he's running up to He Man. But uh, yeah, and obviously, yeah, this is all, all new animation. And um, I was never a big fan of the fight scene between He Man and Faker in this episode, which is why we made the return of Faker. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so oh, yeah, so there's uh, He Man pitching a rock. That's I thought He Man was flipping the camera off for a second. It was how the arrow was right there above <laughs> his fist. When, like, go up just a little bit more, you'll see. No. The, right there. Yeah. I thought he was yeah. like. <laughs> the face he's making, too. <laughs> see, that, now that looks like Tyler. That was. Yeah. She does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But James, I agree with you. Uh, watching the episode today and watching that fight scene, I was just like, eh. They could have done so much more. It leaves so well, much it's, to it's be so desired. It's so funny. Go, go on, Tyler. I was just saying, like, it, it's such a missed opportunity. Like, I, that's what I feel like a lot about this episode. It's fun to watch, but all I can think about is what could have been. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think, so the reason these pages, like I said before, when you see these darker pages, it, it means they're revised. And I think these are revised because originally, so you see here, He-Man runs at Faker and... He Man falls like Faker's like alley oop, and He Man's like, Whoa, and then he's hanging on to the, onto the abyss. He Man's hanging on for dear life, and then he pulls himself up, Ray, and he grabs Faker's foot. Hurrah! Um, this, I, I believe, this is one of the first episodes where they're like, We need to edit this ending. So they animated it where I think they were going to use the same animation of Faker. Oh, I forget what it was, but I think He Man was going to pull Faker off the edge and throw basically throw Faker off and then they were like we can't have He-Man kill Faker you know or throw him into the abyss so they hurriedly changed the ending I don't know if it'll be present in this story but so Faker that's Faker getting up isn't it yeah he runs at He-Man so yeah He-Man like no to all departments this is same as but Faker and He-Man switch places <laughs> uh, paint them accordingly so yeah I think when he says paint them accordingly they're still talking about him being blue at this yeah. point mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And it's like He Man moves out of the way, but yeah, originally we're gonna have like He Man just way toss it Faker into the abyss. And if you watch the final episode, um, the background behind Faker as he falls is actually that of Snake Mountain. They didn't have the, the abyss drawn at the time, so they just used mm. the background from the dragon invasion of the Blood mm. Falls. So you see like those weird jagged teeth coming out. Now Skeletor with the shaping staff. And just decides like, oh, I'm just gonna chain his legs like that. That seems like that would uh, that would keep him there for maybe like two seconds. <laughs> the magical chains, man. Probably. And the palace guard to the rescue. Oh yeah, you. So we've got a scene here, Battle Cat. Let's see how this plays out. I can't quite remember. So Battle Cat, yeah, jumps on Beastman. Ah, they're kind of struggling, and I think Beastman just runs off. So yes, yeah, so that shot <laughs> on the top left. I sent you a drawing called Awful Art, which is that. <laughs> that image realized in line art. And I think you see that in the episode, unless they cut it short, but you see this horrible sequence where Battle Cat lands on base when they struggle. And it's like really poorly animated. And then if you look at Battle Cat, he looks so off model. He looks like my face. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah like, like his nose is big. Yeah, Battle Cat don't look well. He's like, oh, I've got a cold. 
and like Beastman's like running away like he's in a bloody yogi <laughs> no, I, bear. I, I, I like it so. better when James like when like, just, my face. <laughs> like, like he just stops abruptly and just. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like, like look at Beastman's good. leg there. He's like, he's his leg in front. He's kind of running. Beastman's running a little, little dainty there. It's, it's not his it's, most it's just, masculine run. If you watch the episode, that scene is so it's animated all wrong. It's even like, usually animation is on twos. It's this is like on threes or fours. So it's like really slow, and it's just like, oh goodness, I don't know what they were thinking. Is that how you run, um, Rebecca? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any human runs like that. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Rebecca you've got one like Who, who runs other. funny? Who was the actor? Who oh, Steven Seagal. Tom Cruise? Steven Seagal, <laughs> thank you. Hey, now. Steven, like, flaps his arms. No, he does. Yeah. He is a yeah. horrible yeah. one where he does. I don't know yeah. what the <laughs> fuck He's, he's a dandy, all right. <laughs> we'll, we'll watch uh, some of that after the show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, that's and then we're back to the action and man arms falls off his sky sled. Or he's, well, he's exploded off his sky sled. I got exploded. Boosh. And he just lands. That's a great drawing of the sorceress, actually. I like yeah. that. It's like looking over a shoulder like son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Skeletal looks really comical in that panel. He's like he's <laughs> raging over. Yeah. He's like, damn you sorceress. Damn you woman. <laughs> <laughs> So he might freeze himself, charge the skeleton, get the stuff, get the stuff. And there's a uh, evil Lynn looking She's like, like why she did just I marry? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That image, man. Skeletal doing his little tumble. <laughs> More edited scenes. Damn it. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot taken out here. Wow, God. wow, wow, yeah. wow. Here's another revision. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Uh, he must steps in the shot. Oh, no, you don't, Scott. Right? Yeah. Just breaks the star. Boo, 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 boo. And the heroes, yeah, we're not a frog, a goat, and yeah, we're not a frog and a goat anymore. Hurrah. Or a cricket as well. I seem to remember in that, when you look at the episode, the shot of when you see all the animals imprisoned, Taylor is like the world's biggest frog. She's huge. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying yeah. about Taylor, but she's like a big old frog. It's just like, poof. Now you're just doing what Tyler did when he had to. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. Clear yeah. Days. fucking heavy. Him, him picking up a teenager and going, God damn it, woman. He's so a big Evelyn's... bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so evil turns into a uh, little lizard thing. A snake thingy, and... like from House of Jacody Part 2. Yeah, as it actually it is, yeah, when you think about it. And Skeletor says, I like that oh, illustration you... of Skeletor there. Like, and it's like Skeletor. Goro all of a sudden. He's yeah. Got a <laughs> yeah. I'll be back. Yes. Ming's Palace. Yeah, back at the palace. Do -do. There's a funny ending. Oh, look at Taylor there. Her little. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> Thinking about He Man. <laughs> Where she queefed in that shot. Yeah. And, it felt, like, and, it, and it felt good. <laughs> <laughs> the end. The it's end. The end, end, on, end, cool. end it on a queef. Yay. Yeah. Does it, is there any more pages or is that the last page? Because sometimes that's the last they have page. that's the last one. Yeah, sometimes yeah, they have the model page. sheets and stuff, but now this one this one does not. I think I sent I think we went through all the artwork, didn't we? Awful art, Beast Man Rough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure deleted. we did. Oh, he man fake a fight. What was that one? It's oh wait, nothing. yeah, I didn't show that one here. Let me. Oh, yeah, it's just it's just a cell from the uh, from the yeah, fire. Still show it off though. Yeah, we with their giant <laughs> pants. <laughs> their pants are huge. Now, I, I guess I, I'm assuming too. Like I, I think it, obviously it was in, in the in the storyboards that even though he was gonna be painted blue or colored blue. He was still gonna be wearing He Man's horns and not Skeletor's. You know. Yeah. yeah but oh, that's man. The, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm kind of glad they went with the way they did because um, I, mean, I, I would I would have been happy if it was just blue He-Man with with no skeletal armor too. I mean, because it just leaves reason for you and Deucin to come along years later and do what you all did. So. Yeah, because yeah. that that works out nicely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no problems there. No problems there. And what's the most recent update? You might have said it while I was not here. Um, oh, how's the yeah, update? Yeah, you might want to go back and rewatch. Ah, it. shit. All right. I know because I got my emails that, and I was going to say, hey, well, no, tell I, I everybody did, about I it. Tell, but... I did tell the others one thing, but that was 
prior to recording. So yeah, that's just one of those things. I'll, yeah. I'll tell, well, we, yeah, we can we'll tell, tell, tell you after the show. Yeah, after okay. the show, man. Oh, that's right. This is before we recorded. My bad. Sorry. But yeah, like um, I've got obviously I've got the shaping stuff is probably one of the episodes I've got the least amount of artwork for, but the storyboard. But I've also got like, you know, um, other episodes where I've got. You know, obviously, entire story. I've got storyboards for about like a hundred and something episodes. Is the Return so, of Orko's what, Uncle one of those? Say again. Return of Orko's Uncle one of those? Because I know you got like yeah, yeah, I've got the concept. original of that. Yeah, yeah, because that 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 one that storyboard is like like I said, that's the Barry Caldwell one. That's absurd. It's so so different and beautiful looking. Your characters that look. Oh, my God, we, we we've got to do that next time. That could be the next one. Yeah, de definitely. Um, yeah, definitely want to consider. Yeah, definitely. Are you telling um, me you don't want to do loads it? of artwork? You, know, <laughs> you don't sound like you're that interested in doing it here. I'm calling you out on it. You're, are you not that interested in? Uh, oh no, no absolutely. <laughs> I, want, I want to talk about a shit episode with a great storyboard. A shit. Oh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Man, have I? I've never nice. felt a hate crime coming on more than it does right now. <laughs> It's not shit. What did I give it in the book? I'm sure I gave it a really high. Oh, rating. it was not a flattering re review. I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> that. Which I feel like most of your reviews need to be updated anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd make them lower because obviously. <laughs> you said lower. Um, yeah, obviously because you know we, we've we've seen much higher standards in He-Man storytelling in recent years. So oh, the old uh, stuff have, is old. Haven't we shit. all? Yeah. Oh, return old. of Return of Orko's uncle. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Ah, I, I will read he's the review. Using, he's using the first <laughs> testament. Well, it's it's lighter. It's, it's oh yeah, lighter. yeah. It's the, yeah. yeah the new, one, new yeah. testament was up, updated heavily. Yeah. I don't think I ever changed. Did, did I change any of the scores? I don't think I did. I think I stuck to my. No, all the scores because I, I've looked at that. Like nothing. <laughs> you it, check. Yeah. Son yeah. of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the asshole. The return. The return of Orko's uncle Montork is sadly nowhere near as good as his debut in Orko's favorite uncle. That episode <laughs> sucks. At Orca's favorite uncle sucks, man. That is other you. than the Talon Fighter being featured and tore on the magician. What a shit character he was. How <laughs> dare you? The this episode starts off with a lot of promise with new troll and villains, Azrog and Spydra, both of whom are striking in their design. Sadly, aside from an average script, which tries to repeat the events of Montork's debut appearance by reversing the situation and having Orco evil. The animation and visuals in this episode border on atrocious. Bullshit! The cartoon. That's the one thing I'm not going to back down from. The <laughs> cartoon. Bar, bar. Man, wait, wait, you will be back, and you ain't going to have much of a choice on that one, though, man. I'll fight you right now. The, we, we, I tell you what, you can tag team with Ren McKenzie. I'll fight both you guys in a tag team match, man. Handicap, bring it on, dude. No whole bar. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm, not, I'm not teaming up with them. The cartoony <laughs> elements that are peppered throughout the episode Cartoon. fall flat because of the continued reliance on filmation stock system. While oh, he's a, he's sounding like these these pretentious hipster assholes are shitting all over the cartoon all the time. You, just, you know what? Keep going, Nate. keep going. Let's get it over with. While, while the script does get stronger during the climax of the episode, by this point. It is hard to remain interested. He five, just shit on it for repeat. You know. Five out of ten. Technically, <laughs> 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 he just wants to leave. He's like, I fucking can't take it. Uh, we can, like, we can, I, we can I, go I, through it in depth next time. We'll call it the return of Orko's uncle. Uh, yeah, I, 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 this needs to be solidified from here on. When James returns. We have to cover this because this is bullshit, man. It's it the return accident, of James man. E. Talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, man. And do it uh, on that font that you do, James, where you make that, you know, looking like an actual episode title. You got to do that. The return of James E. Talk. We'll make it happen. There. All so, right. yeah, that was the shaping staff, everybody. We hope you enjoyed this presentation. <laughs> Yeah, a good I'll, I'll, be, I'll be fine after I take a good shit or something like that, you know? <laughs> he's you know, you always feel gonna, better. He's, gonna, take... he's coming to puke! He's gonna puke! He's gonna puke! He's gonna puke! He's gonna puke! Oh, he's gonna puke. oh God. <laughs> First time I, I saw like you on the mat, I was just like, what the hell? This... Yeah, when <laughs> Draws is on the phone, he's yeah, like, yeah. And with his mom, he's like, you can call me puke. Poor, poor draws. Obviously, his story yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Rebecca, you know who draws is? Of course, you don't. <laughs> it's puke. The shark. Puke's good. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, what did God. she say? She's like the shark. 
<laughs> uh, what? <laughs> um, oh, that's good. I like her Jaws reference there. Like that was good. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff your freaking head in there, man. And find out if it's a man in there. Oh, look, Rob David's here. <laughs> hey, there. Question for fans' of power: What would be an idea for, for a Christmas story? A reunion type episode for the original Masters cartoon. Not asking if still any ideas because I am not Rob <laughs> David whatsoever. Of course you're not, because you're a pussy. <laughs> You come up with shitty ideas and your shitty comics and your shitty mini comics and oh look what you did, James. <laughs> by by doing what you did, oh, you sparked man. Tyler to just like yeah. I can see him just, he's descending to scorched madness. earth. Scorched earth over here. It's like that movie, The Mouth of Madness. I'm sitting in a movie theater just laughing hysterically at Rob Davis, you know, great ideas <laughs> on the screen. God. Isn't that there- Oh, they're probably going to make people even mad. And I was going to say, isn't there a new Masters of the Universe comic just come out or something? I saw a picture about a week or two ago. I think I like, heard some some fart in the wind that there was going to be another one coming out. But it's, it's crazy, and it's like... Coming, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah. It's going to be taking all the, the craptastic stuff from these fucking Masterverse figures and the backs of their bios and reimagining oh, right. some shit okay. or some, Yeah. Yeah, it'll be the good garbage. Oh, so like the toy okay. line is bombing. They want to make a comic book based. It'll be the, the worst selling comic so far that they've done. Garen fucking T. It'll be the worst and selling you, and, comic. And Joe, Joe, you're going to review it, aren't you? No, I, we stopped. To remember with the other shit. I'm done. I, I'm I, done with I, that. I'm, I'm done with the cartoon. I'm not watch you guys I'm, talk about no, I'm done with that. Comic. Done with the cartoon. I ain't talking about none of that shit no more. I'm yeah, done. Yeah, I, I guarantee fucking T. Nope. When it comes out, someone's going to challenge Joe. Nope. Look at this. Nope. Look at this. I'm not going to read that. Not at all. Just look at Someone's that. Someone's going to call look, you out on nope. it. And then you're like, well, well Nate, look, no, we Tyler, I told it. you, I'm done with that. Like I said, I don't give a shit no more. I am is done with all that. the CGI he man, the top right? Yes, that, that is. Like, doesn't that just make you want to pick that fucking up and read it? And there's the what? stupid, shitty, new Eternia He-Man down there that nobody gives two flying fucks about either? Yeah. Oh, Wait, they're great. I, the thing I don't understand. Alternate covers, though. Oh, look at King Grayskull. Bullshit. Oh, it's uh, Castle Grayskull, man. Oh, God. What about that? What about that? What about this one, Tyler? This is getting worse I mean, and worse. Oh, the, the other oh thing my about that, God! Like, the, these that's artists Sergio draw, draw like five year olds. That's the guy who did That's the Gru artist. So I'll give him <sighs> credit because it's Sergio Aragon. But it's yeah. Uh, um, yeah, so that's a comic, but it's so weird. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a comic. <laughs> Fuck it. I just, I've, I've got no yeah. desire. I don't, um, yeah, <laughs> you know, some would say I'm a bad fan, and it's like, okay, if you want to say that. Yeah, you're not but, a real fan. Yeah. James. You're not. I say those fans just say that. Don't, they clearly but, don't but you know, I give you permission to like not like it. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. oh god, yeah. So, you know, you're, you're allowed not to like Revolution. Yeah. I didn't get Re- like, Revolution. Thank you. Revelation. Exactly. Oh, you can like or dislike you anything you want. It's like who cares? It's like yeah, it's let, let me, stupid. Let, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's it's a bizarre time to be a He-Man and She-Ra fan. It'll be interesting to see where this community is um, in about ten years. It'll be, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. I mean, like is I love Origins. Really and everybody is. anymore. I mean, is there an actual What's He-Man this? community, or is it just people <laughs> bitching about? You don't like what I don't like, or you like what yeah, I don't like. Yeah, I mean, it's, like it's, it. it's basically a reflection of modern, modern social media, isn't it? It's, um, you know, uh, although, I mean, in fan, like, I, I, when, I, when I post stuff, it seems that the, the haters are few and far between. It's only when I look at shares and then you end up in, like, one of the other He Man groups and it's like, oh, I got shared to that group. And someone's like, why do I care about this? And it's like, well, you, you posted a comment, so you clearly care that much. Um, yep. So, yeah, it's a bit like me posting my Xmas facts, the old He Man Ashira facts at the moment, like mm-hmm. my Christmas ones. It's like they're yep. fun and it's like people engage with them. And it's like Twitter, yep. Twitter, whatever, Facebook, um, Instagram, and all that. And it's like, oh, it's, uh, that's the only thing I, I keep telling Dushan now at the moment. It's like, I really, I, I'm, and it's not that I don't care about He Man Ashira, because of course I do. I just worked on a Blu-ray fucking set. Um, yeah, and it, for free. <laughs> for free. And uh, <laughs> so, like stuff like that. And I know, I know other people that work on the brand that do it for the love of it, as opposed to even the current brand. Like, I wonder um, if those guys yeah. are working on that comic book. I wonder what they did it for. <laughs> My guess is the uh, the coin, <laughs> but, uh, but no, like uh, and they're probably cheap too. No, like. I, I don't know at the moment. I just keep telling Dushan, for example, I'm just like just just kind of show the world what you love, as in you know, for me, formation and like the 1980s stuff or the new adventures of He-Man and the 2002 cartoon. Like, you know, 
I, I haven't connected Wait, James, James, well. James, hold on a second. How did you like the MYP cartoon? Because that's past filmation. Remember, people like you and I and all of us, we can't get past filmation. So how I is can't that possible? Um, no, 2002 I show, like, was infinitely good. It was, it was so, I mean, like, this, I don't this, think that's this... something we've ever talked to James about on here, like, even about, like, an episode discussion about MYP. Like, I don't think we've ever done that with James. It's always been, I think, for the most part, which is filmation centric, but I think that'd be really cool to do that with James, like pick a particular episode and dissect yeah, I mean, it. Yeah, like I mean, I've watched, I've watched Mike Young, the Mike Young series in, God, a long, long time. I really enjoyed it at the time as well. I mean, it's so crazy. We were talking about Toy Fair and um, all that mm -hmm. stuff, Wizard Magazine in that kind of like late 90s, early noughties. I remember the the excitement of the Four Horsemen toy line. The all cartoon, those two up statues mm -hmm. that were showing up in those two ups. magazine. Oh my, oh god. my god! And the frustrating thing about those two ups is the paint jobs on the figures were never as good as those two ups. <laughs> oh, I know. Like, right, right, right. No doubt. <laughs> Completely. But, what, but I, it, it just it was such a bright future when we saw those statues. It was like, oh, oh my god. god, I can't believe this. This is just. I would just sit and go back to this man and just look and look and look and look and look. Oh. Man, it was a magical like time to be like, a fan. I, I still think, uh, you know, they, they, I don't know if they I don't think they're greatly celebrated, but uh, and I don't mean no disrespect by that. But I love what Val and Emiliano and Enzo Fontana did with that. Yeah, that, the, the 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 shard of was it the shard of darkness? Shard, was the first shard of darkness one? was the first story arc, yeah. and the mirror image was the second, and then the third one was tampered with by you know, uh, I think Mattel quite a bit, which is what led to a lot of the fallout. But the um, I, I thought those comments were great. I still think one of the best stories, and I'm going to blow smoke up his ass as much as I regret doing this, but um, it was the charity comic that Val wrote, and I think it was per every page was a different... Oh, uh, I remember that one, yeah, yeah. And it's about He-Man, and it was like all about hope, and it was really beautiful. It was shows, it was like, it, it, there was like kids playing as He-Man and Skeletor. And, yeah, yeah, but it was this story, and it, just, it, it was one of the most kind of hope-driven... Stories where you come out of it going, that was a fucking great story. Yeah. Um, is that the one with the cover the where He Man looked really powerful holding up the sword? Is that the one, or am I, I thinking think of a different one? I think it was the cover where it's He Man holding up the sword and it was like a it's lightning and stuff. Blue, blue black, and blue lightning yeah. and shit. And yeah, yeah, I got yeah. that. I got that. Yeah. I think that's the one. Um, it's, it's uh, yeah, it was like a it was like a charity comment. It was like a giveaway, but you know, Val was kind enough to send me. Um, uh, a free copy because I've done a book. I didn't get one back. Doomed yet. Encyclopedia I comic. Around. What's that? I didn't get one. I was around. I was on the forums. I was. I was, I, I was. I was lurking. I'm sorry, James. You who I was, do you know how but... I got that comic? You know how I got that comic? It was that. like kind. Of... Oh. <laughs> no, it was, if I'm not mistaken, like kind of a consolation prize for people who entered the Creta like commercial thing for the 2000 X line. You remember when that was going yeah, on? Right, and, yeah. and, th and it got pulled because of there was music being used, like official copyrighted music. And oh. they couldn't go through with it, so they felt bad. And for people that participated, they got it. I did one for the Bash and Beetle. Oh, it was horrendous. I was in there trying to do clip by clip, doing cheesy voices. Do you, do oh. you, you have that. No, because I sent the VHS off to them, so I don't oh, have a VHS. Copy. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. God, we Rob can dig that up right now. Yeah. Wow, I'd love to see that. Damn. That would be cool. I wonder if they'd be allowed. Do you, you know, to well, shit, if there's copyright, well, fuck, just mute the music and show some of the people's commercials. I'd love to see what everybody came up with, and then people can see my shitty that would one. Be but... Really, I, I I forgot all about that. Yeah, yeah, that competition. Yep. Yeah, because I, I don't think that was open to anyone outside America, and I think a lot of the Europeans and the British were like, well, <laughs> British are Europeans at the time, just like, oh, we can't enter the competition. But I do vaguely remember that. Yeah. 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 A long time ago. But yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Two thousand and two cartoon and comic and toy line and all that. It was that was like that was really fucking like a thing because yeah. I also back then we got remember no streaming services. It was it's going to be on this time on this channel at this da 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 da. da. Obviously, us in the UK had trouble viewing that, so we had to download it illegally to watch it. But, um, and yeah, at the time, like, I was fortunate enough to be kind of contributing to the backstory of that. And I just remember, like, getting an email from Ian Ricks at Mattel, and it said, we need bios for, this is, like, in, before, like, even the, the, we've seen the first episode. It's like, we need bios for Count Marzo and Evil Seed. And I was like, oh, my God, they're bringing Count Marzo and Evil Seed into this series. I can't <laughs> just... imagine what you must have felt when you saw that. And you're like, oh, my, like, 
like knowing that they're going to be dabbling with well i mean not only that but like the series bible was so cool i mean i think i don't know it's public now but like the series bible you know a word a word microsoft word document with with like model sheet model sheet illustrations so it had the first sketches of it just said king gray skull and i was like ooh. and then you do more pages and then it was just like a silhouette of a figure and it said hordak and i was like oh my god hordak's going to be in this and it was just so exciting back then as well just to think you know, Pravis, that was another one. Pravis was this model sheet of Pravis. was like, he might be the coolest character I've ever seen in He-Man and the, uh, you know, the He-Man Last Universe uh, lore kind of thing. And then, you know, he shows up in that season two episode. Shit. He's just like, I'm going to be here and I'll fall off, fall off my flying disc or whatever. And it's just like, <laughs> Pravis? I thought Pravis was so... Did they ever make a figure of him? Yeah. 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 They did. Wow. He's, he's right here. That. He's right here. You got him. Show me, Tyler. I need to see Pravis. There he is. Oh, wow. Yeah, they did. Yeah. yeah. And they oh, made man, him a member is... of the Horde. They what? They made him a member of the Horde. No, that's bloke's. Thank no, you, Scott. He's not... <laughs> he's not a member of the Horde. That's fanfic. <laughs> um... You know what? And that shit, it's, it's all there. You see, you can take it off, too. So. Oh, good. Thank God. Take yeah. it off and throw it in the bin. Um... <laughs> Remove that fan I mean, I'm fiction take this from his armband. I wish I had like an extra rattler I could put like this armband on. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, I know. Uh, yeah. Well, he's, uh, I don't. Know. I don't. Know. You know, we're not uh, doing this. But I'm yeah, Pravis. I thought he was like, such a strong design. I saw him in the Bible. I, 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 I gotta like take my headphones off and like be very careful putting him back in there because I just knock like, it. Knock it all off. It'd be hilarious. Yeah, no, no, because he, he's in between the whore and the snake man in the very back. You know, because I'm like he's he's you know he looks cool, but he's not an important guy. Not like you so. said, he's in between the whore. <laughs> That's what I heard too. That's why. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the whore. <laughs> Excuse me. What was that? A little Tommy Boy reference there for you. <laughs> um, what do you do? That was still one of my funniest moments in a cinema. Was the trailer for Tommy Boy. Where he break, he reverses, knocks the door. Oh yeah! What'd you do? This is we're just watching the trailer for this movie, <laughs> and it's just like uh, David Sp Spade. Yeah, yeah. Pulls the do opens the door, and he comes up, and he just goes, <laughs> "What do you do?" And we just all in the cinema <laughs> wet ourselves laughing. We're like, that, "This was just the trailer." We're like, "That's amazing!" So that good. good. Oh, yeah. what it's do a massive do? movie. <laughs> um, uh, th there is a. Uh, <laughs> I, I, there's one question here. Look at that, that goatee, I, James. Can you grow a goatee like? I mean, look at that. Oh, I, I mean, I, I mean, I gotta say. He, oh wow, he I didn't know it extended like that. That's uh, that's yeah, quite I mean, the work. I mean, that that is one hell of a cookie duster. God, I love that design though. He's such a cool character. God, just like I'm, I'm a monster. I wish I could do that. It only it just grows so long that's done. But here, think, here's think, a. Think Emily would see you like to see you rocking something like that. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> no. I think if we were up to her, I'd probably have shorter hair and like not. I think Nathan needs to go back to the high school, dude, you know, where it's uh, just like short. I, I, you know, I, I've thought about it. I look in the mirror sometimes. I'm like, just cut the shit, man. Just I mean, you would de-age yourself another 10 more years. I mean, you oh, no, looking... I would. Yeah. I would yeah. Look younger. Oh, God, I when you shaved, it was like, you looked like a baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I shaved. I looked like a. I won't say what I look like. He said that publicly what I look like. I, you know, I, I would like to I see shaved, James clean like shaven. I, I don't think school. I've ever seen James without facial hair, even like way back in the day. It was bad. I, I, I did it like, because I, I went to a Halloween party as the Joker, so I shaved my beard. It's the first time I'd shaved my beard in about, God, 17, 18 years. Shaved it all off completely. And I just looked wrong. Like when I, I did the Joker, <laughs> I was like, wrong. oh, that's brilliant. And then the photo of me, I was like, I look like I should be stood outside of school going, hello, would you like a little sweetie and come in the van? Plus, you got to you gotta think, too, like the rest of your face is getting sunlight. So when you shave, it's just like white. It wasn't than so much that. It just, I just looked like really dodgy. It was just like, I should be on a, <laughs> really a, wanted, a wanted list. It was like... It was, and James's hair has there? changed a lot over the years, too. <laughs> he keeps doing that goddamn photo. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I can't... <laughs> Oh, it's uh, the Tyler what's the question? Here is a question. This comes from Joe's best friend Stratos. Question for Joe: What is one custom that you wish you could have kept for yourself? Also, oh, see nice. you later at the Snake Mountain Bar and Grill. Oh, I don't. I was I was really happy when I did my first ever Battle Cat Man in Classics. It seemed like that caught on with a lot of people, and I got a lot of requests. Did other versions, but I enjoyed that. But it's it's hard to say. I. Maybe that one. Uh, well, I don't now, know. You're, now you're Fred Flintstone that you did. 
Uh, oh yeah, hey, yeah, Fred or he, Fred, and that Fred he. he Fred. Some yeah. of my some of my Jason customs, and of course, I had people tell me what I should name stuff too. When I had Fred he, which is a play on Fred he Kruger, everybody said you should call him he Fred. And then when I did he Fred, which was Fred Flintstone, they said you should call him Fred he. It's like, then fucking make one. Just make one yourself. You do with a lot of dumb people, Joe. And, yeah, I try. and then and then you you make figures and um, people borrow ideas. But they're rich. Oh, that's oh, weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Huh. How yeah. about that? Yeah. And this isn't a question so much as a comment. This comes from a Kevin Smith crying Funko Pop. Totally the best podcast I've ever seen in my life. Started to cry. Haven't cried this much since the premiere of Master Universe Revelation. That's uh, a lot of crying. A lot. And who does it? You know how disingenuous and phony that is to when you see something, this is my thoughts of it, and you look real close and your eyes are bulging in water. Who does that? Whoever sits there and thinks, oh, I'm going to take out my camera and look at myself crying. No fucking human being ever does that. It's fucking phony. I hate that shit. He cries about everything. What about when you record yourself eating stuff, Joe? Like, you know. Oh, that's it, delicious, though, boy. Uh, yeah, oh, it, when it, I'm it, eating. Okay. It's okay yeah, when what, what he does What if you start it? crying when, when he's, oh, my God, it's just so wonderful? You get these. Yeah, tears, I mean, it's good, know? boy. Because, it, yeah, it gets me kind of hungry again. I like watching myself <laughs> eat. That kind of gets me going. So. Oh, not that. <sighs> there we go. What was Joe, that? Joe oh, is yeah. a simulation. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Especially if it was uh Grimbot's fucking choice right now would have been Oh man. That was great. That was <laughs> pretty fucking That's awesome. Out. Yeah. Here's one from Fedmon. How about a future podcast where you review some of the Master Universe issues of Toy Fair magazine? Yeah, I got them all. That'd be cool. Why some of that like? shit. Yeah, because like uh James, I have a question for you, and I, I know I still have that one. Do you remember the one where I- I'm almost certain it was Toy Fair and I don't think it was Wizard? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, and I don't know comics, too. But, comics, though. Well, well, remember, okay, well, remember the, the one where they part. had the image of Hero that Emiliano drew, and we thought we were going to be. You remember yes. that image? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember it. They, they did. It was Hero, and there was For another the, one. I think. Hordak in the same magazine? Yeah, same... And was it a tease of what could have been in one of the MVC comics? I'm trying to remember why he showed that. I think I might be wrong, but I think that might have been the the, the article that got them a lot of hate. I might be wrong about that, but I think that was yeah, one of where using characters that they're not allowed to use. They were talking sh- about yeah. it and they showed Hero, and I think yeah. then that was where they talked about, oh, this was our plans for uh the third series of the comic which i think yeah. was out at the time they said here's yeah. where our, these were our plans and then i think that led to a lot of the trouble with mattel going like you yeah. should have done that should isn't that something that. that sucks but yeah yeah oh no i mean like what what emiliano and um valid plan was i mean it was i mean they, they were on a roll kind of thing and then they just you know it was like right you can only tell stories based on the cartoon it's like what mm. oh, yeah was, I loved all like, the Easter was... eggs that they did. It was always cool to see an Easter yeah, egg that they had. At least they got Hero in the comic and then that one panel. like at least That one panel, that, yeah. Wasn't yeah. that like where Emiliano drew like, the adult version of the Star Child as well and a few other Oh, no, things. it was like, the, it was, no, no, no. I'm talking about like an issue two of Shard of Darkness. There's like a shot oh, yeah, yeah. Of, of like pre yeah. and he, he's like glowing with his staff. That's right, yeah. But, but yeah, but in the uh, that uh, third storyline, I think with That's... the faceless one. Uh, yes, there's that interior shot of Central Tower with Eldor heroes in the background. Yeah, you see, yeah, it's that like the cool. adult version of Star Child and a few other characters. Yeah. But which, yeah, you so... know, which, which that was cool to see an adult version of Star Child. Like, I just thought that was a nice like nod to like an, an obscure shitty character. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We find no argument here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Sure, you don't want to argue about that, James? Sure, you sure uh, you don't like Star Child? You know, we're both on the same page about Star Child. Okay, at least we we can team up on that one. Yeah, <laughs> except the second appearance, she's pretty cool in uh, Bargain with Evil, just because you see the extent of her powers, where it's like, oh, mm-hmm. she can bridge dimensions, and she's a wanted. It's basically like, yeah, Franklin everybody... Richards. Say again. She kind of reminds you like Franklin Richards, you know, the son. Yeah, that's actually yeah. good. Yeah, it's actually a very good comparison. Yeah. Yeah. But for the most part, she's a character that is lame. Yeah, eat shit. <laughs> well, you know. I'm saying she does. Here's one from Rebel Wookie. Do you guys have to deal with dusting all those toys? I have to deal with it constantly, but I live yep. in an old house on a gravel That's why road. I don't, I don't clean my shelves that much. Because yeah. it is, it's I use rough. those canisters of airs that you yeah. can use for like keyboards. Go, yeah. Yeah. That, that's, oh, that's, nice. that's a good way to do it. I unless do unless I the figures are kind of light, then you have to worry yeah. about blowing them over. <laughs> <Yeah>. but... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Joe's ringing. Uh-oh. The sheriff's calling again for another missing body. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's not here, sir. I'm telling you. Stop calling here. 
I mean, uh, Shit, I stopped doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Got to keep bothering me. I'm on parole. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's just my like, face. yeah. Joe's just made his own like ankle bracelet to pretend yeah. like he's on yeah. house arrest. Yeah. <laughs> I know Joe don't have to say much for us to come up with our own like crazy stories about what he does or what he's done. Mm. You know, it's it's, it's, it's kind of fun. It's crazier. Yeah. 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 It is. Yeah. It's fun just to kind of sit there, just have to just come up like, and, and this is, Joe would really be doing this in this situation, you know. Well, we go back to that documentary we were talking about earlier. It's like uh, the three part Netflix series about Joe Amato. And then it's like, yeah. his friends would mock the idea of him being a murderer. Little did they know. <laughs> yeah. blah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys are seeing something earlier or something? I'll have to, I'll have to oh, no, we're just saying, and, 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 oh. you know, this is like a while back. Oh, okay. yeah. Or, or there's like found footage of like Joe talking to one of his hookers and. You know, and Joe just didn't want to get rid of the tape so he could go back and watch it. So. <laughs> it's something, it's something about her. Yeah. What's everyone's favorite Skeletor moment? James, you go first. I'm assuming is this filmation like like an animation or I, just like I, an, I, an, it could be an, it could be all that's around. Really hard. I feel like Tyler's saying that because he would like to put Frank Langella's performance. It, well, I mean, hey, there's some great. That would. I like his speech when he turned into a god. He, yeah. that, that was, yeah. when he, that's a highlight. Yeah, that that yeah. alone, or, or or actually when when he's I'll let James go because we're interrupting James. I'm pulling a Joe Amato. No, 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 no. So I, I can't think, I think of I one. Know. Like there there oh. are so many great moments. It's just like yeah. I, yeah. I think him mocking He Man, like when He Man's being whipped and He Man's bleeding from his mouth. And he says, look at that. Look at your precious oh, sorceress. God. Like, and he, you know, the Alpha yeah. and the Omega, yep. and he smiles at the very end of his speech there. And you can see, like, the fangs. Like, God, it's just fucking brilliant, man. But uh, I mean, there's so many, like, great moments in Filmation, too. Like, from Double-Edged Sword, when Trapjaw says, like, what happened to He-Man? He's like, you know, you know, to the crossroads of all universes. And Skeletor is just kind of revel you know, <clears throat> relishing, like, I've seen He-Man. Did you, you say Double-Edged Sword? Yeah. And, and that, uh, not Double-Edged Sword. <laughs> Quest for He Man, God. God. I like how I like how I, James I, no, like you. No, yeah, and, that's right. I, I got those confused because they're this on the is the man who's going to come at me with the return of Orko's uncle. Is great. All right, Eric, eat <laughs> shit, James. I'm getting I'm, all right, all right, all right, all right. DNA. I only got it confused because they're on the same damn VHS tape that I have. <laughs> nah, nah. You see, this is why I got them confused because they're on this this thing that I, I got from Video Update back in the day yeah. that, for a dollar. So that's why. You, no, wait, 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 wait. Wrong tape. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get this shit right. Oh, Look at that. Fuck you! Yeah, He's coming back. Wait, no? wait, wait, wait. Just junked in my pants. <laughs> you don't even have it, do you? No, no, no. Oh, I'm gonna get a job, shithead. You know what? Fuck this. I'm not doing this. We're not no, doing we're it. No, we're not doing yeah. this. Look at that. It, it's it's over here somewhere, but you know what? That's why I did it. I said, I, you know what? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I was saying. Uh, we know what you meant. Yeah, yeah skeletal moments, though. Yeah, there's so many when you think about it. I'm not just thinking, I'm not talking filmation either. Just like, even like uh, a lot the, the those, you know, the Mark Tex era mini comics. He's so amazing in that. Like the Magic Stealer and. Um, PowerPoint, all those. I mean, he just so he's got such presence. Um, so yeah, it's hard just to narrow down one, to be honest. I think I think it'd be fun if you kind of went from like each media, like from like the Golden Books, the mini comics, filmation, mm. uh, NYP. It'd uh, be fun to kind of break down like a like which I feel like we've kind of done that maybe in like an old episode, but like breaking down like what we think is like the most definitive moment of Skeletor in each form of media that, yeah. that would tell people he's not a fucking mean. He's the no, Lord exactly. of Destruction. Yeah. I watched you know. Evil Lynn's plot to see how fucking badass he yeah. is. Yeah. You see, I, I love how that is catching on more and more. Like, people are really, uh, you know, James, I don't hear you celebrating the episode. What's the matter? It's a great episode. I know, but I, I, we need more from that. Not just a great episode. <laughs> like, I, it should, it's not enough. <laughs> it should, it should have been on the yes. top 10 episodes. It, do, am I wrong? No, 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 you're not wrong. So, why wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know. The lens plot. What did James for, do? Oh yeah, go on. Have a look. What did I say? Yeah, I think he gave that a respectable. It should have been probably a ten out of ten, but you know he's probably. I bet he gave it an eight. Something. Yeah, so much 
Yeah, I'm starting to get a little <laughs> hungry too. Yeah, I'm although, starving. Although we are introduced to the widgets, the first quarter of this episode is nothing special in terms of storytelling. What However, a crock of shit. <laughs> We should, you know what? We should just spend another time we have James on. Let's just read all of his reviews, and then we we can all react accordingly. Yeah, I because we've done it plenty of times. Because every time we do an episode, Nathan will re read your review, and then we yeah. we just cut you cut you. We just shred you to pieces. Yeah. Uh, class. Class. <laughs> However, when Evil Lynn reveals her plan to Skeletor at Snake Mountain, the episode really begins to shine. So hey, there you go. He's, he's shitting all over that, uh, that 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 epic battle at the you know to keep going. In their scenes, <laughs> in their scenes together, Squinch's innocence is played perfectly against the wicked beauty of Evil Lynn. The story manages to run the two plots side by side at this point, with He Man racing to stop Skeletor and Squinch making the effort to redeem himself. Paul Dini knows how to write classic episodes, and this time does it by introducing the widgets using Evil Lynn to her full potential and providing an even match between He Man and Skeletor. Eight out of ten. Joe was right. It's too low. It's too low. Too low. Too low. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, I'm telling. You, that's a ten out of ten episode, and you know it. I, I, I'm in denial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm in denial. James, uh, who, think, who does the opening theme music for the Serial Geek videos? Gets me excited for the episode at hand. That's so weird. That's so weird that that person just asked that because literally, I'm doing a video this week, not for the channel, just on social media, like promoting my friend who did the music for it. Um, his oh, name's cool. at the end during the end credits. You see his name, Adrian Breakspear. He's a guy. Um, he's worked with quite a few big names over the years and stuff. But um, yeah, he's just a guy I met when I was working at Sony, and I don't know if you, everyone knows the story, but I, com I composed. Um, I composed. Talking about acting, and Joe with the, James with an orchestra, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, had my, I had my violin out. He's wearing like a powdered um, wig and everything, commanding an orchestra. <laughs> it's like when I did a vi an impression of a violin. I made it sound like a trumpet. <laughs> it's just like he's like Larry so, David doing the violin thing on Kirby. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's doing the violin sign. <laughs> oh, don't make me think of Kirby. Can, um, can, can you can you do that face that Larry David makes when he's doing the violin sign that? <laughs> God, I can't do Larry. Don't it's Michael J. Fox. Is like, Larry, what are you doing? He's doing the violin sign. <laughs> oh, no, I need to go back and watch that series. Um, that clip, that clip alone. <laughs> oh, shut up. Um, <laughs> See if I can actually. I don't know yeah. if this will work. Oh God. <laughs> Oh man, I rewatched that that one clip of that and that face he makes in front of Michael J. Fox. So. <laughs> the Michael J. Fox episodes are so. Oh good. my god, that was so awesome! They, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. God, that's yeah. awesome. That was the best best scene of that entire season. Was that shot there? Oh, oh, I'm sweating that's so good. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm glad you know, uh, we're a few more things there, James. Um, yeah, so originally, like, I uh, do do had sent me like a bunch of uh library music that we thought was uh royalty free or just free to use. And I used this mu I found this piece of music and I edited the footage to it so I had to hit beats and certain things. I uploaded it to YouTube and then it, uh, literally about two weeks before I was due to launch the channel, and it came back and it said. We've got a copyright claim, and I was like, on this piece of music that's so, you know, years old. So my phone was just batteries dying, and um, yeah, it gave, it gave me a copyright claim. I was like, right, what am I going to do? So I contacted my friend, who's like, say, music producer and composer, um, Adrian, and he said, um, he goes, I'll take a shot at it. And I was like, okay, and he did like the music that's heard on the channel, where I said I would need it to sound like the original, but I can't have it sound like the piece I used. So I sent him the video and he kind of composed it to that, but gave it a new mix. And yeah, he did a really great That's job, cool. I thought. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, like, so it's funny that person brings yeah. up because this week I was going to, I was going to do the intro without any of the sound effects. So you can just hear the music. And I was going to say like, Hey, if you want a piece of music, contact this guy. Um, Cause he's pretty fucking awesome. So, yeah. Um, I might have to go suddenly because my battery okay. just, yeah, sorry about that. My battery light just came out. It was just like, you've got very little battery left. I was like, so yeah. Would you want to wrap it up? Say anything about any of your channels, your pages, or something real quick, and you can get it going real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like the Micro Machines guy. <laughs> yeah. that was like, was that John Mushita or whatever his name was. Yeah, that was. Uh, bloody hell, that Joe. Well, you got to say, you got to prepare people when you issue a, like, a public apology to me about Evelyn's plot. 
Um, I'm sorry you gave it a 10. Um, <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> There you go. Stick by your guns, James. <laughs> Stick by your guns. There you go. I got my guns ready. Yeah. There you go. That's what I think of you, James. You're the violin sign. That's what you are. <laughs> um, I'm like, yeah, anything... whatever, James. <laughs> so, anything I've got to promote? No, nothing, nothing. Just um, well, your yeah. YouTube channel. Come on, James. Oh yeah, like I mean, yeah, serial geek. TV <laughs> oh yeah, that. <laughs> He's like that's things that I fucking do. <laughs> eh, whatever. I'm terrible. Sure. I'm terrible at promoting. Um, yeah, serial geek TV, um, Instagram, serial geek seventy seven. Um, yeah. Go to the it. shop and get that that oh, yeah, unpublished mini comic. Just, just I mean, that... go to my Instagram. It's probably the best place. That's where I promote everything these days. All my Facebook. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm around. You'll see me. Um, but yeah, okay. it's, uh, thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. It's been a fun one. And yeah, like like uh, we've talked about, we'll do um, uh, Return of Orko's Uncle at some point, uh, storyboard. I still want to do like got... a, uh, a, a uh, opening credits Kumite with you, like that we discussed last time, where we just like... Oh, yeah. That'd be I really, really yeah. really want to do that. With, and we bring Deuce in, and he can you know, pretend to be Joe, Faker Joe on here. Faker and... Joe, yeah. 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 yeah, give him some more. You need to give him a load of material, Joe, to work. Yeah, I, oh, I will. Don't you worry. Well, I'm sure tonight <laughs> provided quite a bit. Yeah. Ah, shit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, All right, but, yeah, no, thank you, thank you for having me on and everything. Thanks for coming uh, really on. Appreciate bud. it. Yes, yeah. we love you, sugar butt. All right, now <laughs> if you guys are new to this channel, oh, I forgot. That's what we say in messages. My, my bad. I'm sorry. But no, no if you're new to this, hey, channel, hey, what hey, movie is that from, James? Joe? <laughs> Wait, there is a sugar butt in a movie. What? Really? Oh wow! That... Uh, I thought he was like kind of doing like a Batman '89. It's me, Sugar Bums. <laughs> oh no, no! I said Sugar Butt. What did he say? Didn't he say Sugar Lumps? Or I thought he said Sugar Lumps. I think I think he said Sugar Bumps. But but when you said fun. when he says, oh. "Is that you, Sugar Bumps?" It's me, Sugar Bumps. Oh okay. All right. All right. Oh, I was yeah. sorry. I, I, okay. I really pulled something out of my ass on that one there. Joe really <laughs> okay. Sugar Butt. And somehow I think Sugar Bumps. You know what? I'll shut the hell up. <laughs> All right, well, if you guys are new to this you channel, know, I've already sure embarrassed you... myself over my VHS tape. He says he's going to shut up, and then he just keeps talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> make sure, if you're new to this channel, make sure you like, subscribe, fast. share, and I ring no that feeling. bell so you can always be notified when we go live. I like talking over Joe. It gets irritating here. <laughs> I love you, Jen. And until next time, have a powerful day. Oh, no quote. No quote? Well, I always feel like I'm throwing up when we have a guest on, like to do a quote. No. Um, <laughs> Oh. Let's have James because... do a quote. Oh, I d yeah. Uh, a quote. Oh my god. I can't think of a single movie all of a sudden. There we go. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> that, that, was, that was a good way to end it. I can't think of a single movie quote. There you go. It, it, James's biggest brain fart. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, I should have quoted Tommy Boy. Oh, oh, yeah, a what are you doing? piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can take a dope in the shoebox that I got spare time. Yeah, oh, I can tell you that was a guaranteed piece of shit. Yeah, there we go. Wow. <laughs> oh shit. All right, see you guys. Oh yeah. Joe always sound like he's winded from doing that. Like it's like he just gassed <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, oh, sorry guys, my battery's really dying here. I've got, all right, uh, dude.